Welcome back, everyone, to Calls with the Wizard. And before I introduce my very special guest, once again, uh, I want to thank everybody who's become a member to our YouTube page. I know we got close to 200 now, so I want to thank you guys. Uh, I just loaded up some content on there uh, last night, actually, 
And just recently, we did a sit in the park with my special guest. So we're going to be doing another sit in the park soon with another special guest. Some some of them that have been on the show and some of them that have not been on the show. And then we still got other Sixth Street Bridge. And then we still got other things that we're going to be doing. Uh, and I'll be loading up eventually uh, soon uh, some behind the scenes of the Chicano Rap documentary. Uh, uh, some behind the scenes once again of the artists and the producers and the DJs that I'm, I have on there. So, but other than that, uh, we're just going to go ahead and jump into it because today we're in a tight schedule. Uh, we burned the whole hour due to technical difficulties. So we only have one hour and I've got to respect my, uh, uh, my guest's time. So we're going to give you one hour. We're going to jump into it and then immediately we're going to start taking phone calls. So when that number comes up, Call in if you want to ask me anything or you want to ask my special guest something. So without further ado, once again, hi, C. Thank you for being here. Yes, sir. <laughs> it feels good to be here again. Man. It feels good. Remember, I th- was it, in, was oh, it yeah. in fucking 40 ounce? It feels uh, good. Feel, good. Swinging. feels good to be yeah. back. Yeah. Was that? Was, yeah. Okay. Now, didn't you say that I think, was it in China or Japan that the second album is Japan. like? Japan, yeah. That shit? The song got it like that. Uh-huh. They love it. That's the Tony A. No they shit. Love it. Man, it's like, it's like, hey. It's like Dre Day. It is. It's <laughs> funny, bro. It's like, it's some okay. real shit. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, as far as, um, as far as music is concerned, uh, I, I know, uh, I just want to announce that this Saturday we'll, we will be in Scottsdale, Arizona, performing for the first time live, I think since 2000, either 18 or 19, when we did Arizona together. Yeah. Yeah. That so, was dope. so, and that was actually pre COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of right before. Yeah. And, but this time, I, I'm not sure if it, they said it's sold out or it's almost sold out, but I think they said it was sold out. So, mm-hmm. and the good thing is it's going to be inside. And, uh, man, um, it got to be because it's hot as goddamn ball sacks out there. <laughs> Shit. And, and that's pretty hot. Being outside, that's hot. So, that's what were you saying? Like ball, what were you saying about the asphalt over there? <laughs> oh, they were saying something about a, they had a news thing report where the asphalt was reaching like 140 or 150 degrees just from the sun beaming down on it. So, if you got some bad tires and shit or shit, or you're trying to rock out there bare feet, you better watch yourself because you get your ass, get your shit burnt. Now, what if you're Hindu and you walk out there barefoot because they walk on fire? Oh, see, they, they might be able to get away with it. They can get out there and crit walk on that shit. Right, right. Crit. See, but you don't you don't really know if they're crit walking because they may just be burning their feet. <laughs> may just be hot, huh? It just may just be hot. Maybe so getting that shit put on one of them beats and shit. So if it burns your ass, that's your fault. Yeah. Because the asphalt the is asphalt. hot. Yeah. <laughs> asphalt, your fault. Okay, somebody wanted me to ask you, how often do you work out? Uh man, I'd be trying to get it get it in at least within a week. I would say like the minimum three times. And maximum probably like five times within seven days or something like that. That's the max. But in between there, you know, Tom, because you work out, you got the guns out right now. You like to put the guns. I just, I don't never load the guns up. I just try to keep them empty and stuff until I need to load them up. But <laughs> Tom always, look at his arm. He always jacked. He always got I'm shit. trying. Yeah. Uh, you know, being an old man you like do, me. What you do, um, three, three, four times? Or do you, do you do more than that? No, I do five. See, that's, yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's when you get maximum. Got to have recovery time when you get older, you know, get get up there in age. You got to have recovery time. It takes a little bit more. Like, you could do one body part. Like, just say you do arms. And, then, right. you know, back in the day, I used to feel it the next day. Now I do arms and shit. I'll feel it, like, on Friday. Yeah. Like two but, days later, I was like, what the hell? See, but that's what legs do to me because mm-hmm. when I work out on legs, I won't feel it the next day. It's the, the day after. The day after, yep. Fuck, it feels like I was riding a horse on a hot, sunny day. I'm walking bow-legged and shit. On but, Old Town Road? Yes, exactly. <laughs> now, now, what, what would you say is the strongest part of your body? Is it your arms, your 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 legs, your shoulders? I would just say in the, in the human makeup, the legs for sure is just the strongest part of your body. Like far as weight-wise and pushing, you know, like whatever, being able to push. You can load up on back. When you're doing back, you're able to. You know, do a lot like back real heavy because the way it's just organized. But you know, just like I try to balance it all around, man. I didn't want to be the dude that come out and just like the penitentiary, like the top heavy and got some two pick legs. So I try to incorporate legs, but like you said, man, legs is tough. It take a lot out of you to do legs. A lot. Just get. I would say the strongest part of my body is probably my legs. Mm-hmm. Then um, I would say my back. Yeah, back is. Uh, I would say the weakest is probably my incline bench. Yeah. 
By incline. incline is tough, bro. You got to be careful. Like I got injured on the incline years ago. No shit. And I, I uh, yeah, just like popped my shoulder. Uh huh. And then I went back. I, I let it heal. Uh huh. Took me down there a half a, half a year, like six months. I was lifting, came down, and just felt like this little, like a little, you know, like nothing, like something crazy. You know, you crack your knee or whatever. Right. And I racked the weights back up. And man, I was like, okay, cool. Kept working out. The next day, I felt like, God damn, I couldn't even raise my arm. I'm like, what the fuck happened? And then I'm like, oh shit. It was like my shoulder, I guess the incline the way it was. And I let it heal up. And I'm like, okay, let it heal up. Like, all right, I'm going to get back at it. So that was like probably about two and a half months later because I was just going light. Because it was like where I couldn't move it. So two and a half months, no story, no bullshit. Two and a half months later, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to bench again. I could feel it. Like, okay. Went down, bro. It did the same thing. I said, pop. I was like, I just, I wanted to cry. No shit. I felt the same fucking pop. And I was like, fuck. So it took me another like two months to get, I was almost like sick. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to start doing the uh, inclines on the Smith machine that helps you, you know, like. That's what I do yourself. it on. Yeah. And it's like the same results and shit, you know? So. Right. I do those, and I'm like, man, I just don't like the incline. So yeah, yeah. Somebody decline, sh- I can, you know, like decline. I that thing that's that probably up. the easiest out of out of the flat bench, incline, and decline. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, switching channels here. As far as music is concerned, I know you, uh, uh, um, for a long time you were working with Quick as far as music, and you do have, if I'm correct, some unreleased music that you you did with Quick. Man, we got so much shit, bro. Right, we got some shit, shit right. to me that I'm just not being biased, but shit that I think, in my opinion, that could compete today. Like you really can just put this shit on, and you know, because sonically, like I said before in the other interview, quick I always make sure sonically the shit is right. You know, like right. you don't just get you know shit where it sound like hit some AM right type shit. You know, so sonically, and it's like you know the content of what we talking about and. Just, you know, our, our get down, it's like not too far from what we do. And it's like people hear it and they're like, God damn, they go crazy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You, you know, and that's one good thing that a lot of people don't realize is that you can track a song. You know, you, you can make a beat on a laptop. You can do lyrics at home. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, if that mix don't sound good. Yeah. And then it comes to mastering, which you said now quick is mastering now. Yeah. And then there's a way you actually master some songs so uh, to get ready for to perform. Yeah. You know, it's totally yeah. different. It's a different vibe, yeah. Yeah, it's a different vibe. And that, that's what I think a lot of artists lack today. Mm-hmm. And I'm hoping we can go out there and, uh, well, I'm not hoping, I know we are, that yeah. we're going to go out there and rock that motherfucker. Hell yeah. So, Hell yeah. because I can't wait to get back out there. Man, it's, it's going to be dope, man. It's like, I'm looking forward to it too. It's like getting out there and just, you know. Back in our element and shit, because it's like riding a bike. The right. first time you jump back on it and shit, you might have to, you know, balance yourself right. a little bit. But once you start riding, you're like, oh shit. I hey, do, I'm just doing this. Do you remember, and I still got the flyer. I don't know if I ever sent it to you, but I posted it up on uh, the Scanless Tour page. Mm-hmm. Um, our very first show out of town was in Arizona with Lighter Shade of Brown. They actually opened up for us. Yeah. And uh, so I know Steve has still has the video. And... Uh, uh, do you remember uh, Johnny Lazoya? He was he was yeah. <laughs> he, <Hell yeah. laughs> he was the promoter. Man, yes, sir. Yeah, uh, the, man, was, that was that was a while ago. That was yeah. And I remember Mr. Cartoon actually even had a stand out there, airbrushing shirts. Yeah, cartoon. We had some, some man. Tell him, give your boy a tattoo, man. Give him a tattoo, please. Now I want to pay two thousand seven hundred ninety-two thousand. <laughs> Three hundred twenty-five dollars for that motherfucker. Yeah, and, and, and a fucking <laughs> and a kidney. So, so no, so well, hook me up. Well, let me ask you: Do you have a lot of tattoos? Since you're asking, uh, no, I just got you know just a couple of you know kids and shit. My little Gemini sign back here. Other uh-huh. than that, it's you know it's pretty much. I, I feel now I wouldn't mind getting some more shit though, Tom. Right. But like right now, at my age, we, we seasoned. We not old. We just seasoned vets. Yes. I want to get something significant. I ain't going to get a motherfucking uh, tribal band that's going to play out or a tiger stripe. Or no no disrespect to the tribal right. band dudes. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Something that's just going to play out. It has to be something significant like, you know, like a... a Childbirth or something, you know, it just has to be okay. something. You get what I'm saying? I thought you were gonna put like like a froggy, like remember in a high C Tony A shirt, they had a See, frog in there. The frog, <laughs> something. 
Okay. That's, that's the motherfuckers that's just crazy about ink. They just want to tattoo everything. Yeah. Now, would you ever get considered a face tattoo? Uh, no. Okay. No, I mean, not now, you know. I mean, I thought about something, you know. Well, you're saying not now, but, but does that but mean like... I'm saying like, if, like, if it was, shit, if I was 20 years old, it might be something to wear, you know. Okay. You get what I'm saying? All right. Uh, um, but a face tat, I mean, I, I, shit, certain ones, I like it. Like, back in the day when we used to see motherfuckers with face tats, you'd be like, oh, like, damn, they crazy. Yeah, that motherfucker crazy. Yeah, because yeah, you ain't getting no job back in no 1990. <laughs> you ain't getting hired. They ain't even, they running for, you coming to place... You might come up because they're going to hand you the bag of money. you just coming with your job application. Exactly. They're going to give you the bag like, oh, please don't kill us. Like, hey, I'm just here to fill out an application. Right, right. <laughs> so to, and today, everybody does it what? Because it's trending? I think it's trending and they're like, oh, I'm, I'm down to do it. Like, you know, it's, to yeah. me, it's like it's, it's, it's show off time. Like, oh, if you could do this, I could do that. You got motherfuckers jumping cars and taking doors off, doing this and trying this and flying motorcycles, jumping in the lake. Like, Motherfuckers, it's, it's that show off area. It's that cloud chaser area. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, it's funny because I saw this one little kid. He had, uh, he had like some uh, basketball shorts and a jersey, uh -huh. and he had the sleeves, you know, uh, uh, tatted up. Yeah, oh, like okay. sleeves, like you can buy uh, at like a party city. Oh, okay. And then I remember I asked his mom, like, what is he supposed to be? Oh, a basketball player. But oh, it's shit. funny how she included the tattoos. Yeah, yeah, see, that's crazy. And I'm like, wow. But like, growing up, let's mm -hmm. be honest, when we watch basketball, our heroes didn't have no tattoos. Yeah, back then they didn't. None. And one of my favorite players, bro, is AI, Allen Iverson. So it was like a big thing about him. Like they put him on the front of album covers yeah. with the tattoos and they kind of wanted to airbrush it out. I remember some incident. Right. And he had to tell them like, nah, these are my tattoos. This shit is significant. Like if I take a picture for y'all, I'll cover my shit up. And I was kind of remember, I can't remember verbatim what it was, but I was su supporting him like, hell yeah. Like if I got tats, don't make me look like I'm fucking clean. This is who I am. This is my wave now, you know? Right. So it might be his grandma. It might be whoever it is. And then I think he got that one famous tattoo like he got for him that other basketballs end up copying the shit. Yeah. Like only the strong spot. I forgot what it was, but yeah, that's, he's one of my favorite, favorite basketball players. Well, now, sure. now, now why him? Like, just, just to me, like, I, like the size wise, underdog. Okay, like that motherfucker. Is he like, was like six two, huh? Hell no. Nah. Well, no, <laughs> that's I, what he was listed at. Okay, I seen yeah, him. that's what he was listed bro, at. Bro, probably was on some real shit. Not to take nothing from him or try to, I don't know, but he was probably about five eleven, bro. Oh shit, like yeah, that? He was like about if six, barely six feet. Like when you see him, I think I've seen him in the club, some place we was at. We had an event or something we went to and shit and. Just, you know, from afar looking at him, it looked like it was about 5'11 or barely 6 feet. He but was, he's asking fly, that bro. That motherfucker killer, bro. He a monster. Yeah. Yeah, and he just, the way he attacked people and, you know, just his his approach to me was like, I love it. Like the small five. I'm, I'm, I'm the type of dude telling I, I root for the underdog. I'm like, of course. I'm always been like that, man. And his, his approach for us, like when he used to dunk. And yeah. then he just kind of stopped dunking and then braids and just his his you know his approach to the game and just not being afraid to go in there back then if you come into the paint in the middle they will knock the fuck <laughs> out of you back then right he, now you can't touch him motherfucker so yeah. he was going in there and i remember they used to put up charts of his body where he got injuries it's like my shoulder his groin the fucking his chest his back the neck the ear look like he was in there taking a beating, but it didn't stop him from going in there doing his shit. Right, right. Man, what, what, what's that one guy right now? Uh, remember, he just got in trouble for uh, having... John ja, ja Morant, yeah. Morant, him, yeah. him. He kind of reminds me of him a little that's bit. That's what I, I said, the same thing, man. I was telling my boys and, you know, the kids and shit. I was like, he got that AI approach like that. I'm going to yeah. come get you. Like, if you're standing in the way, he going to try to come bang on you. Yeah. Like, he got that. that Most approach. definitely. He could definitely fucking ball, man. I just yeah. wish he would stay out of trouble because oh, right yeah. now, you know, people are saying that he's just nothing but trouble. He may be a cancer. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that because the guy's young. No, we, we, yeah, we've all been there. He got to figure it out. Yeah, he got to figure it out. But one thing, you know, like the old people told me and I had to learn this shit, trouble is fucking easy. The easiest shit to get into but can be the hardest shit to get out of, you know? Yeah. Very, it's very true. easy, bro. You can do some dumb shit and like, like that. Boom, you flip. And then you got to spend a lot of time trying to <laughs> make up for that, that pretty much, re, you know, no. who don't make mistakes. Absolutely. Imagine, imagine if we had all this shit in our era, 
Fuck. Our video shit and all the shit we was doing, you know, it'd be some crazy shit. You know, it's funny t- talking about crazy shit. Cause do you remember that night in Philadelphia? <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, that night of Philadelphia. You know who yeah, just commented on that on on the scandalous page? Who? Tim Reed. Oh shit. Tim Reed. He goes. Yeah. No, nobody will believe yeah. what a shit show it was. <laughs> Literally. Literally. You no, want? We had fun. We had fun and and uh, shout out to Philly, man. We had fun out there, and got end up getting kicked out the motherfucking hotel because I was always the prankster, turning on the the heater in the car while Tony and them sleep. I would, I would, we would be on the road. We'd be headed to the D, Detroit. And, you know, we have our good super fly driving with the afro and shit. He'll come with the, and with the Hitler mustache. Yeah, with the Hitler, just pat his shit down. He'll be driving. We have a car full of motherfuckers. I would lock the door, put on the, the window lock so you can't unlock it. So I'll wait for everybody to go to sleep. And I would crank the fucking AC up to devil's dick. <laughs> And motherfuckers trying to sleep. One thing you cannot do is sleep in heat. No, you cannot. I keep trying to wake up like something's wrong. And I see motherfuckers like, and I'm like, oh shit. And I'm sweating myself because this shit is hot, but I got to thug it out. And then you do this shit going to be funny, right? And then you do the fucking cold. (laughs) Yeah. Then then when they go back to sleep, I put this shit on fucking uh, uh, whale's dick. It's super cold. You know what I'm saying? So it's like just fucking around, having fun. But that was the part of like I missed on the road. You know, having fun. Yeah, I was mad, and I was like, "Fuck, it's fucking hot." Time to get up, like, what the fuck? But yeah, and, and then I, I was like, "What's like, the matter?" And then the first thing they'll do is try to grab a window, like try to roll down the window. But I got the lock on the motherfucker. And then I was like, "Okay, fuck it, I'm gonna try to go to sleep." And then all of a sudden, it's cold, and I'm like, mm, "The fuck is going on?" <laughs> and then this guy would just be turning back, he <laughs> laughing. I was like. All right, all right, I got you, I got you. Yeah, but Philly was crazy, man. It was we got kicked out in a blizzard, cold as fuck. Yeah, yeah. So we got to Philly. Let me just tell y'all a little bit of this. Go, go ahead, go ahead. Speak a little bit to closer Philly. to the mic. Please. Yeah, we got we got to we got to Philly, and you know it's like have the you know coming from from the west and shit. It was just a long ass ride, and you just you know you just tired. You traveled and shit. So I'm like, man, we got to have a little fun. We get to the hotel in Philly. I'm like, man, this, you know, shit, Philly is cool. Like, yeah. check out the mall. Like, the outside was, like, kind of crazy looking. You get to the, the inside of the motherfucker. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah. Like, watching motherfuckers hustle, sell, like, videos on the corner. That's when they used to have the bootleg movies or whatever. So we get our rooms, you know, we get our rooms assigned and shit. And I think whoever was with me, maybe Big Sonny. Sonny, yeah. You know, shout out Big Sonny. So we get our, get our rooms and shit. Tony A room was closer than my room. And I'm like, man, Tony, I got to use the bathroom. Shit, let me let me use the bathroom real quick, man, in the room. He was like, oh, Croft, no problem. Go ahead, man. You know, because we've been traveling or whatever. So being a prankster that I am, because I always got some pranks for you, I go into the, to the bathroom and pull back the shower curtain and sit my ass on the side of the tub and take a big shit <laughs> in the tub. <laughs> That it was a big turd that just slid down the side of the motherfucker. It was a big ass dookie. <laughs> slid down the down the tub, right? So I was like, okay, cool. I pulled the shower curtain back so nobody could see it when you go in there because I wanted to be like, God damn, he blew this shit up. So did that shit. I'm like, Tom, good looking. This shit took off. And I guess they went in there and kept saying, like, why in the fuck does this shit stink? So we was getting ready to roll. So when they pulled the shower curtain back, da da. <laughs> A big ass turd right there. So I don't know who was fucking with the turd. They got mad and threw the shit in the hallway. <laughs> Literally threw the shit in the hallway. The people came. They was like, if y'all don't get the fuck out of our hotel, fuck y'all, California, West Coast, they get the fuck out of our hotel. We don't want you here. We got, we got kicked, kicked out, out. in we the middle of the nowhere, night. Nowhere to go, bro. Cold as fuck. All because of his dookie. <laughs> that motherfucker was huge too, and I can tell you be eating corn. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was like, "What the hell?" Was I go something smells, and then this guy he walks out of the restroom and he's like, he, 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 he. and I was like, "What the hell was all that about?" He just took a dump, yeah. but I walk in and I'm like, "Something smells nasty in here." I turn that shit, and motherfuckers right there staring at me. I'm like, "Damn, okay, okay, we're gonna play that way. We'll see." 
<laughs> but yeah, that was that was but dope. No, there was some good times on the road, man. Some real good times. Yeah, some real good times. And then uh, I still remember the the night at the Palladium, uh, and I still have the flyer for that with EPMD, Father MC, yeah. and and uh, uh, Ghetto Boys were there. That's when we we first met uh, Willie D, uh, Scarface, and Bushwick Bill. That's when yeah. Bundy jumped yeah, into yeah. the crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and. Dudes. Absolutely, rest in peace, Bundy. Yeah. Uh, but that was and that was Bushwick, Bush, Bushwick Bill. Bill. Absolutely, Bill. yeah. I remember um, that night. Uh, either I was going to set up my turntables, or I was going to use Father MC's turntables. I remember that shit. That motherfucker, dude. I remember uh, Steve goes, "Hey, they're not going to let you set up your turntables. They already have Father MC's DJ up there." And I was like, "Well, I'm just going to go ask." So I knocked on his door, and the security comes, and he goes, "Yeah," and I go. Can I speak to Father MC? <laughs> like, and then the guy goes, Yes, you may. My, my <laughs> he goes, child. Father, he wants to talk to you. Yeah. Okay, this is the part that pissed me off, okay? Because I walk in there and he looks at me and then I said, Well, I just wanted to know if I can use your turntable so I don't have to set mine up because we're about to go on, you know? Mm. Uh, I guess they were mad because they went on before us. And uh, you can leave it up there. If you want, I'll take them down. And then Father MC, he's sitting right there and the security standing next to him. And he turns around and he whispers to his security so that his security could tell me tell no. Him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tell him I said. Yeah, tell him I said no. And I said, I fucked that dude then. That's some funny. With his whack ass song. But anyways, that was the Father MC song. <laughs> anyways, did you ever do any more shows with that guy? I don't think so, bro. I don't okay. think so. You went to Miami with us, right? To the box and all that when we did to, the box. To, yeah, we did the box. We filmed it out there. You know you what? Tell I, them what the box is, because the kids don't know what the fuck okay. The box, the is. box is was actually I say was because it's not mm -hmm. a, it's not around anymore. You would actually have to pay to see a video. Yeah. So you would call in. It was like on cable TV. You would call in and say you want to see high C. So beep 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 beep, and I guess punching the number of the high C number. video. Yeah, we all had our number. Yeah. So high C and Tony A had a number. It was. Yeah. Triple jackpot, 777. So you had to push in. Exactly. 777. We did it on the beach, as a matter yeah, of fact. So beach. that was dope. And then, but but everybody was on there. So if you wanted to really like, blow up your video, you just keep ordering it and ordering yeah. it and ordering it. And it would just keep playing over and over and over. I used to have that videotape because I asked that guy, can you send me a uh, a, a copy of that? Man, I want that I, shit. I don't know what the hell happened to it. That's the only thing possible because I keep everything. Yeah. That's probably the only thing that I don't have. You got to find that motherfucker. Bro. I know. I know. Oh, we got to hit the... Hit the hit hey, up. You know who was there with us? Remember Raymond? Yeah. Yeah, he, he was on there with us. Yeah, that's crazy. I, and I think even Sonny. But we had a good time because I remember we were supposed to perform with Cypress Hill one day, and then you left because your son was born. Uh, yep, son was being born. Had to dip out. Yeah, and now how, how, many, how, how old is he now? Right now, uh, in his 20s. You a damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he said you. <laughs> he he winked at me through his glasses. I, I saw. Yeah, yeah. 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 See 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 see. Crop is another timeless spirit. He doesn't want to give away his age. Uh, I, it's all good. Like this guy right here. He 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 says he's no age. He's just a timeless spirit. Yeah. He, he's just gases. That's it. Huh? So Taco Bell lover. Yeah. So. Vampire. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So so now you know what. Um, yeah, I had to dip, man. That shit, that was the roughest shit I ever did, bro. I know. I, I had know. all kind of hangovers, I, uh, layovers. I was sleeping in the airport on the chair waiting for the next flight and get back. Like, See, was, and that's one thing I always fucking hated was the yeah. fucking layovers, bro. Oh, my God. But it was worth it, though. Like, that's crazy. Then did you make it on time? I don't think I ever asked you. Uh, no, he was he was already born. I had just missed it, but I was like, God. But it was still, like, still in the hospital and watching it and everything was, like, it was crazy. Like, to have your first kid, you like, what the? Well, like a little me, you know, <laughs> and yeah, just had to fly. And then you on the fuck, like we on the other side of the fucking country, you know. Yeah, I know. So I know. fly all the way back. You, you, you know, but you know what the beauty of of our relationship when I say our relationship of how long we've known each other, because mm -hmm. I've known you since you've been a teenager. Yeah. You know, probably because when you were in twelfth grade, you were about seventeen years old. And mm -hmm. I probably met you about a year or a year and a half before that, before we actually started doing yeah, anything. Yeah, because you remind me about the shit we did at the at Centennial. Centennial, yeah. At the 10, yep. And, and, um, Shout out the 10. Yes. The Apache Shack. And, and what happened since then, 
we run into each other so much because you all are also even coach your son football. Yeah. And even played my son uh, against in football. Yeah. That was so dope, man. I think I think uh, y'all was always a, a, a group ahead of ours. Yeah, but I think one year we did we did play against you. I th- I don't know if nah, it was we you. played against what's your, what's your little dude, the little young dude number. No, two. no, can you remember right. But I think because your son stayed down, I think your your son might have played up one because remember you played against number five. Uh, 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 Joshua, yeah. the little kid. So yeah. one year, I think we played against you guys. I don't know if it was Junior Pee Wee or what probably it was. Probably so, probably. So. But and then but uh, I remember they always used to be. We used to watch them play against. You know. Yeah. Like number five, that boy was he was special. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Hey, you know, every once in a while, I still see him at the gym. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's still going to the gym. That's dope. Yeah, but now uh, your son, your son is older now. I think the last time I seen him, I think it might have been when we were at the Whiskey A Go Go yeah. for for uh, Tony Lane's. Uh, uh, I guess like fundraiser or yeah, whatnot. Fundraiser fan, yeah. You know what? If you don't mind, do you mind giving a little update on Tony? Because a lot of people do yeah, ask about Tom, him. Tony is uh, he's uh, doing good. He's doing better. Talk to him. You know, I should talk to him more often, but talk to him every now and then, and just to check in with him, just to see how he's doing. As far as you know, his his spirit and his conscious, how he's feeling, and. and we'll go over some stuff, man. He'll bring up some old stuff. Yeah, he'll talk about some new stuff. And then you know we just keep it like that. He just uh just have to finish going through his therapy and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, and this is t- Tony Lane we're talking about. Yeah. Tony now, Lane now if I'm correct, didn't he have a record label? Yeah, Laneway. Okay, Laneway. Yeah. Okay. Now, who is if I'm correct? Somebody asked me that about Laneway and Shepherd Lane. It's not the same person, right? No, nah, no, nah, that was that was some old news. Shepherd Lane, Laneway is the like the new. Okay. You know, like the new. I mean, the newest, you know. Right, right. Now, um, is he the one that brought Sugar Free to Quick? Was that how that worked? Yeah. Well, it was, uh, you know, like me and Tone and Quick are from the same neighborhood. And actually, I'm just be real. It was me that was, you know, oh, okay. that connected the dots. And, and you, know, you know how I never like to take credit for shit like that. <clears throat> but Tone had Sugar Free, and he had a different producer. And uh, they was doing stuff, and... You know, like I heard what it was. And at the time, you know, like Tone was doing his own thing. Quick was doing his own thing. They really wasn't talking or in communication like that with each other. And so I was like, you know, I'd be with both of them all the time. So I would go from, you know, my setup in the valley. I had my own spot. And if you've been out there to my spot in the valley or whatever. So Quick would come over there. Sometimes we'll work over there. And I was like, man, you know, like I told Quick, I was like, this shit, dude, got something. He was Royal Rock. <laughs> really? That's the name. Yeah, that was his, his rap name. Royal? Pimp, Pimp, Royal Rock, yeah. So Royal Rock was uh had this little stuff. This is before the Sugar Free Days. And um I remember taking Quick the, the stuff and he Quick was like, Yeah, hey, he got some, you know, like as far as what he's saying, he got some shit. But you know, Quick when he when he get his hands on it, he gonna tell her make it. So I was like, Man, check this out, you know? And kinda like put them together. Quick end up coming back to tone mama house to work on some of the shit. Right. That's like, like when we still had, when they still had the spot in Compton. Right. Work on some of the shit over there. Work on some of the shit at my house in, in the Valley. Yeah. That's where I had some, a lot of my equipment set up at too. So, and it just when we put them together. It was just magic from there. You, you know, uh, now I, I just want you to share one story before we get into taking calls. Mm-hmm. You had mentioned how the song, why you bullshitting, yeah. how, how, how it, Quick came up with it, if I'm correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can you can you share? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, for sure. So we was over there, you know, just like I said, I got equipment at the house, and and I had another spot, too. Like, I just, I used that spot because I don't want random motherfuckers coming to my house t- trying to rap or demo, like, not where I lay my head with my kids and my family and shit. So I was like, you know what, this is a spot, come up here. So we had equipment up there. We fucking around, and Quick was doing, at the time, when he used to do the, the shit for uh, Theo. Yeah. Like, doing the drops and shit like for that. For the 92.3, the, the beat. The, yeah, the drive, the you know, whatever it was and right. shit. So he had this beat he was working on, and um, he got into the shower. He spent the night or whatever. He got into my shower, and um, he said the, the shower, because I remember he used to do this shit. Like, you know, when you cut the, the pipes off and the water, and you can hear it going because it makes that little sound from the yes. water clearing the pipe. And he said he took the shower or whatever, and the pipe was going and he said that's how he heard the sound like like that. And he said 
And then he got out and ran to the equipment because you know that motherfucker dope with naked. He's, yeah. Oh shit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was on the other side of the house in my shower. I didn't hear shit coming out of my no, shower. No, no, all good. <laughs> but some water. Shh. Yeah. So he heard he said he heard the doo 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 doo. Like it was dripping like that. And then he just got out and turned on my equipment and went bling 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 and he put the beat to it and then he started fucking with it. And I tell the story all the time. I'm like, I almost fucked up because I told quick. I was like, nigga, this beat is so fucking hard. Don't give this shit to nobody. You at my house, nigga. Don't give it to me. Don't give it to nobody. This shit is hard as fuck. This show, yo, this going to be a new single for you. Like, just write to it. And, the, you know, he started, this is before anything. Like, me and him just talking. He had the beat and we was just rocking that motherfucker playing. You know when you get that beat that you just... Keep on to play that motherfucker again. Play that motherfucker again. Play that motherfucker again. Right. It was doo, 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 doo. <sighs> the way he set it up. No, no, no. The shit was just beating. The neighbors probably got tired of that shit. <laughs> play the motherfucker again. Sugar free comes over, and man, when he came <laughs> over, he started saying this shit. And I can tell you that times I had pimp you out and take thirty more. Still, on there. like he just he just shitted on the beat. And me and Quick looked at each other and was like. <laughs> I guess that's his shit Like he did it You know what I'm saying Yeah But I was like Trying to really promote Quick to like Nigga don't get I remember that Like yesterday I was like Nigga don't get that shit To nobody That show Your new re-up Your new come up Yeah Yeah yeah. But I don't know What Quick was doing it for He he said I think before That he was probably Doing it for Pac Or somebody else. I don't remember What his thought was But I know Right then and there At my house I told him, like, nigga, that's for you. Don't do nothing else with it, you know? Right, right. And I didn't get fucked up, because that's like a fucking classic. Oh, it's a classic, bro, because yeah, every yeah. time it comes on, people go crazy. Go crazy, bro. People go crazy, bro. You know what? I remember we did, the, I think it was 2017, mm -hmm. the Microsoft Theater, and nobody was expecting Sugar Free. Yeah. And then uh, we went out there, yeah. and uh, you said, fuck it, bump it, let's go. Hell yeah. And you busted a prayer, uh -huh. and then uh, all of a sudden, your so prayers came through. came out, them motherfuckers <laughs> started going crazy. Shout out to my nigga Free, man, my nigga Royal Rock. Royal Rock, he always, me and Royal Rock always been solid, man. He always come and hold me down or whatever. Like, I just hear him out like, Free, man, you want to come through for, you know, like I said, right. if I hit Quick too, the same way, or I hit G a second and none, like, they just pull, we, that's, we do that for each other, you know? Because it's been like, I mean, shit, all the shit that we got going on, somehow we got our hands in each other's. Yeah. Pie, you, know. you know, it's funny. Uh, G called me yesterday, a AMG, okay? Yeah. And, you know, he's still out there in, um, uh, God, Ohio. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, he's out there in Ohio. And, and he goes, what's up? And I was like, what's up, G? And then what's up? And I was like, I don't know. You called me. What's good? Uh -huh. I just called him. And uh -huh. I was like, oh, okay. And I said, so what's up, man? You talked to Quick lately? I didn't call you to talk about Quick. I just called you to say hi. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> and I was, I was like, all right, cool. And he goes, man. You and Crawford, you guys looking good. You looking good. Yeah. You know, and I was like, really? And he That's goes, my nigga, man. Yeah, he goes, yeah, man. Jason. Uh, yeah, so and then here's what yeah. happened. I said, hey, man, I'm going to have him on the podcast. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to call you. He goes, well, didn't I talk to you guys last time? Yeah. Well, yeah, but I'm just going to call you again. For what? Yeah. To say hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's how G is. Yeah, like, yes. Fuck you, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So then I go, yeah. gee, when are you going to come back out here? I'm not. Why? And I was like. So we can go get something to eat because we, we would go eat sushi sometimes, you know. And he was like, I'm not. And I'm like, all right, Gene. He goes, but if you, ever come, if you guys ever come out this way, I'll rock with you guys. And I yeah. said, that's already a given, bro. Yeah. That's already a given. Man, G is my guy. He's like, that dude is so goddamn smart, intelligent. He produced. He write. Dope-ass fucking producer. Dope-ass producer. I used to laugh, bro. Like, I was just telling a partner of mine, an older gentleman in the gym. Uh -huh. Like, I told him I was talking about AMG. I said, man, I got a friend. When he was young, he would uh, he, he would approach the girl because he was talking about a friend, and he was saying, "Man, how do you approach certain you know girls or something like that?" We just got on that topic of the gym, you know, like when they come and dress up and girls come in like with a whole makeup face on, skin right. and shit to work out, and it's like, why do you come to the gym like that to get attention? And I said, I have a boy. I was talking about AMG, and he had just walk up on girls and be like, "Y'all bitches fucking tonight." <laughs> And the girls, some of them would really laugh yeah. and be like, boy, you crazy. And get out. And he'll be like, nah, for real. I'm just playing, you know, just to break the ice. Right. A lot of them would get mad. Like, who the fuck, like, want to go off? But yeah. that's kind of like his little funny, because he was like a funny dude. And he didn't right. mean no disrespect by it. But it was just like, 
just to break the ice. And they would laugh. And when they would laugh, they would know he really wasn't like that. But he was just a cool ass dude to like kind of do. But he had the balls to come up and go, Y'all bitch is fucking the name. <laughs> well, okay, okay. T -t okay, I'm going to say something because mm -hmm. one thing I will say about the whole crew, when I say the whole crew, I'm talking about Quick, Second to None, AMG, you. You guys used to get your hats done with the original writing on it. For an yeah. example, mm -hmm. um, you had one, and I'm going to say it because that's what the hat read. Oh, it said, nigga ho. Yeah. <laughs> AMG had one that said, what's up, bitch? Uh -huh. Okay. D had one that said, let me rip. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Mine just said scandalous. You know? yeah. <laughs> but it was like, but back then, I think today, if you did that, because we're living amongst a cancel culture, yeah, people will really get a, offended PC, to that. Yeah, everybody. What, what do you think is different PC. from back then than now? To right now, to be just a quick answer, man. Everybody's looking for so everybody wants a voice and to be able to be heard, or they want some clout, or everybody has that opinion and they don't have to stand on it. They can just say, "Oh, that shit sucks." Or "Fuck this shit," like. Everybody, it's no accountability to right. me. So everybody can voice their opinion and say whatever the fuck they want to say or just try to take somebody out. And it's to me like, it's like that look at me type shit. You know what I'm saying? When I'm right. just the total opposite. That's why I don't have social media now. I don't need to be like, oh, promote me, promote me. If you catch me, I'm going to talk to you. I'm cool. I'm cool. You know, we can talk about shit. But it's just that, that culture is like, to me. That's just my opinion. Right. It's like, look at me. Like, yeah, look at me. Okay, because I'm, I'm going to say something. What you what you feel about it? I think back then, uh, I think we just, we just were a tougher generation, bro. Yeah. It was harder for us to to get offended. Yeah. Because, uh, for an example, Richard Pryor said whatever the fuck he said, and it was hilarious. Like uh, a motherfucker. You know, Red Fox, uh, yeah. Eddie Murphy. They could say whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. And everybody was like, hell yeah. And if you yeah. didn't like it, you didn't like it. Yeah. But today, cancel him. Yeah. Yeah. He hurt my fucking feelings. Yeah. You know, I don't know where that came from, bro. Yeah, it's just, like I said, motherfuckers having a voice. Oh, I'm a voice this or I can do this and I can do that. Back then, it wasn't, you had to have a certain platform yeah. to be heard. You had to be on somebody else's station or you had to have a, a like a convention or a seminar where you went to go do certain things. Or if you wasn't all the way on, they had talent shows where you could voice your opinion. And guess what? It was only to the people that was at that show attending that time unless somebody videoed it or something went to the news or something like that. But now you have the power of that shit to be right in your palm where you can say, hey, I could post this or I can go live and right. say whatever the fuck I want to, you know, like, you know, hey, I ain't scared of such and such. I'll beat your ass and right. go live. Right. And then just sit in the house for like six months. And never come outside. Never come outside, yeah. But if back then, if we said some shit like that, like, you're going to have to really show up and stand on what you said. Right. Like, uh, I'm trying to remember who in the hell I talked to. I think it was, I think it was um, KK, I believe. Uh, when, for an example, when, uh, what's his name? Uh, and I'm going to say rest in peace to Tim Dog came out with F. Compton. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. Everybody was like, you know, fuck that dude, okay? Mm -hmm. Then when you guys ran into him, because I wasn't there that day on at Jack the Rapper in Atlanta, uh -huh. which was a rap convention, he knew he had it coming. Yeah. And ultimately, he just ended up saying that he did it for clout. Yeah. But he did an entire song saying F. Compton, he dissed Dre, Michelle, he dissed mm -hmm. everybody. Yeah. Now, back then, you literally had to put it on a record, or you had to buy a billboard, or you had to put it on a magazine, or you had to do it on, on a newspaper. Today... Yeah. You know, just to, for, for people to catch wind of it. Today, you can just go viral overnight. Overnight, just saying anything. Yeah, and it's like, you know, like, man, and you and it could be the craziest shit. It could be just somebody saying something funny or just something like, and you just viral. You know, you just, I, it's, it's weird to me, bro. Like, yeah. I don't understand the methodology behind some of the shit. Like, it could be some dumbass sound or the way somebody said, you know, something, and it's like, Right. I don't know, bro. You know, it could be, I was like, God damn. What was the, uh, you know, it, it was I'm trying to think of the one, the one where it was a, a, this was years ago. The girl had the funny neck when she did a neck movement uh -huh. and that shit went viral. Remember it was like a funny, right. Oh my God. Oh no. Uh, 
My other boy, too. I ain't seen that motherfucker in a minute. I don't know if he's doing good. I hope he is. The ooh, kill him. Remember, everybody starts saying, ooh, kill him, like basketball. The little heavy set kid. And he I, said, oh, I'm good at basketball. And then he started trying to dribble. Then the boy was saying, ooh, kill him. Like, so that was the thing for yeah. a while. Everybody was saying, ooh, kill him. And then when they went viral with the, what are those? Like your shoes. Oh, yeah. Like clowning yeah. people's shoes. What are those? The shit just went viral, bro. Like, so you never know what. And I like shit like that, the positive yeah. shit that's fun, but all of the tough guy shit and all that other shit, fuck that sucker shit. Yeah, exactly, like exactly. Because today, social media, YouTube is like the new streets. Yeah, everybody tough on that shit. Yeah. Like, oh, I can go live and go, when I see you, Croft, watch motherfucker. And then I'll hide out for six months. Yeah. <laughs> and by then, I ain't mad no more. Yeah, you ain't mad no more. <laughs> when you see me and shit, you gave me a bottle of 70. Yes, exactly. Don 70. And Don 70. Like, oh, okay, we cool, Don. We good. We good. He apologized. He said he was sorry. Yeah. yeah, it was just the internet. Uh, but now it was funny because when we were going over no, our it was songs, AI. AI. I didn't really say that. They put it together. With yeah, exactly. AI. It was AI. Mm -hmm. Somebody uh, hacked my account. Exactly. I lost my phone. Yeah. So um, we were going over the songs <laughs> that we were going to perform, okay? Yeah. And then I asked you, Croft, do you want to do that old school intro that we used to do? And then you were like, Hell uh, no. I was like, I don't know, Tone. I don't know, Tone. Hey. Oh, we live in a different time. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and say it for the sake of... Uh, <laughs> you going to say it? Yeah, I'm going to say it for the people uh, that are not going to hear it now. Yeah. But I... Okay, remember it went... Um, no, oh, the ladies... Can I wait before you say it? Yes, yes, yes. We were at the time... We were teenagers at the time. Now, go ahead. <laughs> That's my disclaimer. It's true. Uh-huh. Now, all the ladies in the house, if you want a fella to eat you out, let me hear you say, ow. And, and the, the girls, all of them will go, ow. Now, when all the fellas in the house, mm -hmm. what was it? If you want to put your dick in her mouth, let me hear you say, fuck yeah. And all the dudes fuck go yeah. crazy like that. It was you crowd bitch. And that's just crowd participation, you know, and it wasn't like nothing personal. It wasn't like, if you do it now, it's like, oh, they women bashing or oh, this and that. It was yes. just crowd participation. And like, the, round, like, like if you go to a WWE and you see this side, the, the villain, he always got something he do that make people boo and then a the dude. When he getting his ass beat and he finally catch the Holy Ghost and the power and he get back and he <laughs> fuck up the villain and it's like ah oh. so it's like one of those like play against each other but in the same aspect having fun and just now being, back then yeah. saying that and having at times five hundred people eight hundred people or even fourteen thousand people mm -hmm. all yelling it did yeah. anybody ever complain nobody bro. nobody because we came out we took pride in we don't give a fuck. If it was 10 people in the crowd, that's how I am. Yeah. Some people get butt hurt. Or, you know, that everybody shut like, it could be 10 people there, and I'm going to do my same shit like I'm doing if it's 10,000 people there. Like, I'm going to come and have fun because this is part of what it is. The people that yeah. came to see what they came to see, it, it doesn't matter to them if it's, you know, packed right. up or it's not. They came to see what they came to see, so I'm trying to give it to them. Right. And let me tell you something. I'm, this One thing about this guy, he'd be dancing sexy up on stage. So <laughs> so if you want to see that, his sexy dancing, he'd be up there moving his hips and shit. Yeah. yeah. It depends on how much, how much, you know, drink I got. How much, it depends on how much I'm on. Uh, you plan to drink on stage? Uh, you know, usually I do because I get a little, a little parched. <laughs> usually I do partake in a little throat? something. To, yeah. And then it's hot as a motherfucker out there. Right, right. So if somebody want to come in out there, they y'all listening to the show, y'all want to bring us a bottle. I remember like we used to go to Arizona, bro, and we used to get on the radio and I'm not bullshitting you don't like you remember the shit. We'd be like, Hey, y'all come hang out. Hey, if anybody could bring a six pack of this, anybody remember that shit? Yes. And motherfuckers would pull up. Pull up. And they good people, bro. And we would just sit out there, we wasn't too good to kick it. I'd be like, Hey, bring a six pack or bring a bottle or bring this or bring that. Hey, some people bring some candy, bring a Slice the cake. Motherfucker about Motherfuckers coolers. Motherfuckers were coming up with cool I, I was there and say that. Coolers and plates and trays. And we would sit out there, man. And all they wanted was to take a picture and, and of us to shoot the shit like we're doing right now. And just hear about some real shit. Hear about, like, oh, your story was with Easy e And the relationship I had with Easy e Rest in peace. Like, yeah. You know, that that was my dude, you know. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So we're saying the same thing. If you guys want to pull up after the show, <laughs> bring a cooler, bring some. Oh, remember that one guy? Let me give a shout out to that one guy. I'm going to hit him up because he said he was going to kill a cow. Oh, shit. And give us some steaks. Yeah. So I'm going to hit him up. Hopefully he comes through because I would like to bring some and uh, some T-bone really steaks want, home. You really want to kill a cow, bro? You want to be, or you want to let him make it? No, nah, he, he can give it to me raw. I'll throw that motherfucker in the cooler, oh, bring it home. shit. 
You know, but that's what he said. Mm -hmm. I showed you the message. And yeah. he, so he was like, fuck it, Tony, let's do it. So I'm, I'm going to have him kill a cow. Now I'll probably get canceled for saying kill. Uh -huh. <laughs> Put the cow to sleep. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But the, the dope thing about this show is in Arizona and it's indoors. Yeah, it got to be, bro. So what indoors, okay? 30 degrees out there. Yeah. And uh, I want everybody to come out, check us out. We're going to go out there and rock it. You know, hope, it, it, I don't know if we're going to go last. They said we were. But I don't, to me, that doesn't even matter because I'm going to tell you right now. And I'm speaking from for us. Uh, whoever goes on after us, after we perform, the car's going to leave. <laughs> I, I, I'm just going to tell you that. So if you think you're going to show up late so that we can hurry up and go, so like it, it can make a look like we're headlining, we'll just show up late. I go for it. Yeah, go for it. Because after we wreck that motherfucker, yeah, it, it's a done deal. They're going to walk yeah. away, meet us at the booth while we sign autographs. Yeah. So <laughs> believe me, you guys have not seen our show. That's yeah. all I'm going to say. Yeah. And plus, our beats are better. So. Uh, that, <laughs> Talk that shit. No, I, I, hey, seeing is believing, so come out and see us so you can believe us. So, other than that, um, Crop, anything I didn't cover, anything you want to talk about? No, you pretty much hit it, man. It's just, uh, it feel good to get back there, get out, get back out there and just do mm -hmm. our, our shit, you know, the shit that we right. normally do. Like, we have so much shit to where we can do this and then we could do that. So, and we was kind of, correct me if I'm wrong, but we was kind of like the first to put the oldies into the hip hop and then just do the, you know, the shit like that. I don't remember too many people before us doing that, no. like taking oldies and even Tony A, I'm going to just say it for him because, you know, he's he's modest about the shit. Like Tony A, bro, would just sit there and I'm, I remember like yesterday, bro, it would be fucking eight hours, 10 hours of like tracking shit because we didn't have the Pro Tools or whatever. Him and Steve putting this beat down. Tony finding the record. This little piece go with this little piece. That little piece go with this piece. And then it'll be like um, Mary Wells. Any kind yeah. of oldies. Like you would throw the shit in there and I start listening to this shit. I'm like, this shit is fucking dope. I want to rap over yeah. some of that shit. You know what I yeah. mean? And it would take long. No Pro Tools. You really had to have skills like Tony A does to scratching this shit on beat. We couldn't move it around on Pro Tools. Oh, it's beat. You know how you can slide it now, put it on beat or the, the BPMs or sync it up and all that shit. It was really like making this, uh, making this shit work. And I'm, um, I'm going to give you even a better shout out. Cause I remember on tour, I had the tapes and I was, uh, I think we had just hit, I don't know where, I think we was on maybe Detroit with EPMD. With uh, EPMD was too short. Oh, I forgot who else. Maybe Bun B and them. You know the UGK at the time. Yeah. Scarface, like just all of us, like all of whoever was popping, it was popping. So it was. I think it was DJ Scratch or whatever heard the tape and yeah. was like, "This shit." He lost his mind, bro, because he understand. You know he a DJ too, so he understand. Like he was like, "How in the fuck?" It this he was just blown away, bro. And I remember, like, I don't know if I gave him the tape where he wanted to do, but I think I gave it to you know back then we were like oh right. that shit. But your shit went from like being right here locally to over there, like within an instant. This before mm. you can just press a button and say, "Hey, it's on Instagram or this and that." But they was blown away by your work, bro. With Thank you, man. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I just want to let people know when you mentioned, you know, were probably the first mm -hmm. because at least that we knew of out here because it started in the eighties. We started doing it on the mixtapes. Yeah. You know, and we're not talking about when our album came out. No, we was doing that shit before yeah, that. Before, before yeah. that. It was in the 80s. And, uh, and I'm going to tell you who also gave me props for that was Tony G. I interviewed Tony G here, and he yeah. said the same thing. Yeah. He said, you guys took that and you guys fucking flipped it. Mm -hmm. And it, it, I, I'll tell you one of the most, like, one of them that kind of, like, really, really bothered me was when we were getting ready to drop our shit, and then Granddaddy IU came out with oh, it. Oh, yeah. He came out with it, That's and I was crazy. like, "Fuck!" I think I think he passed away. I'm not sure if he did, but if yeah. he did, rest in peace. But uh, it, 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 that was the hard part. But it's on how you flip it because I had the scratches. Remember, she smoked pre because yeah. you thought it tasted good. Yeah, mixed uh, match the spade. Rest in peace. Yes, mixed match the spade. spade was my boy, man. God damn. Now, one thing that I tell people when they sample something, it's on how you flip it. For an example, same year Second the Nun came out with "If You Want It." Yeah, if same you want year. It. Uh, Bushwick Bill and them uh, yeah. Skittle Boys came out with My Mind's Playing Tricks. Yeah, same, same. Same sample, but they used it differently. Yeah. 
So it's all on how you flip it. But other than that, you know what? We're just going to go ahead. And, you know what? Let's put up that number. Let's go ahead and take some calls. And um, uh, let me see. We're going to go ahead and take some calls. And then we're only going to be here maybe for about another 15, 20 minutes. I got to respect this man's time. Like I said, we were an hour late because of technical difficulties. Oh, no, that's all good. So we're going to go ahead. We're here and, now. All good. Okay. You thirsty throw caller. You want to say what? Yeah, exactly. Well, I always like to say that if you got the balls, make the calls. Uh-huh. So, um, but other than that, if you want to ask me a question, you want to ask Isaiah a question, uh, if you're from Arizona and you go into the show, call in, let us know. It's going to be in Scottsdale, Arizona. It's a, um, a super show. So I'm excited to. The super show. Oh, and by the way, Norby's is going with us. So, okay, let's go. Oh, we put the, put the yeah. shit on the joints? Yeah. Call her your name or where are you calling from? Oh, shit. Hold on, caller. Hold on, caller. Hold on, caller. Okay. You're connected. You're there, caller? Hello? I can hear him, bro. Give me one second, bro. Let me try to connect him again. Because I think I hear him on my, on my end. Okay, we're good. Hello, caller? He hung up. Okay, fuck it. Let's go to the next one. Here we go. Call her your name or where are you calling from? Hello? Bro, what the hell, dude? Hello, call her. Bro, I can't hear shit over here. Why are we start the app? No, it isn't the app, bro, because I'm... Uh, uh, let me connect one more time, bro, because... Okay, here we go. I'm connected? Okay, here we go. Call her your name or where are you calling from? Spencer from Sacramento. What's Sac- up, my boy from Sacramento? I like this shit. It's live. Hey, we fix the shit right on, on, the, uh, on, on the air. Hey, what's up? I want to ask um, a couple things for high speed. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so first of all, I wanted to... To ask, I know you got um, two um, albums. First one is scan. No, three. The first one is scandalous, then swinging in the high life. Yeah. Hustle. So, would you ever release another studio album besides those three? You know what, man? I, I really feel like I really get that itch sometimes. To, I got enough material right now to drop probably two fucking albums. I know my bullshit, but. I do get the itch sometimes to really come out and um, really just just put something out for the people that appreciate it. You know, the fans. I would never try to jump in. Yeah, that's jump in another. First of all, I wanted to say uh, that'd be dope, and I know a lot of your three albums were produced by DJ Quit, and also just wanted to say put out some new shit. And then I also got um, two more questions. I got you. Hey, caller, I have a question so for you, real quick. One, quick, caller. What is it? Are you in the bathroom? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, why? I can hear you in the bathroom. Because <laughs> you echoing like a motherfucker. You echoing. Yeah, I'm at work and I asked my boss to take a break. So oh, I that's dope, in. man. Go Come for on. it. Go for it. Give me two more questions. I got you. Okay, so the other question was if, hi, C, if you got the opportunity ever to do a song with Eminem, the most aggressive rapper, in my opinion, would you do it? Hell fucking yeah. Man, I love Eminem, bro. Eminem is in that top. Eminem is a, a fucking beast. I don't, I don't give a fuck what the, what the outside look like. It's the it's, Eminem is a killer, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. I agree. And the last question for both of you. Okay. You listening? Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, cool. so the last question is, is there any possibility we could get AMG or DJ Quick on Rogan Radio? Yeah, yeah, you know what? I, well, the thing is just getting AMG out here because he's in Ohio. And Quick's another story. I've already tried and uh, no luck. So... I don't know. If okay, so I didn't know AMG was on the East Coast. Yeah, now he is. Okay, last, last thing then. I knew you had KK here, but would you get James to D on Rodian Radio? Uh, I, I talked to D not too long ago, so he said, yeah, we just got to figure out a date. Okay, anyway, have a good night. All right, you too, bro. Thank you, bro. 
Flush the toilet. I really t- call her your name or where are you calling from? Hey, what's up, Tony? What's up, my bro? What's up, hi, C? What's going on with it? Hey, quick question, man. Were you a JFN, the Funky White Ninja, and Little Frog also? Oh, no, JFN is the homie, man. He, he, uh, Little Frog, yeah, but the, uh, J, JFN, he, that dude is, he, he, the homie, man. He was rapping back then with us, man. It had a lot of energy. I haven't spoke, man. That's a good ass question. I haven't spoke to him in like, fuck, like probably over 10 years, bro. You know, but people asked, Whatever happened to him because he came off on that second out al- on oh, the yeah. quick second no, album. The boy can really man, the boy was serious. He could rap. Yeah, but what happened? White to- nigga, I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know how you meet people and it just go. He probably went on and just you know, like you know how record deals go, man, Tone. That shit can right. go like it can be you could be sitting in a fucking deal for a half a year trying to negotiate and figure out shit and some people don't have the patience or, or the time. Yeah. To sit there and wait that long, your rent got to be paid and your bills got to be paid. I can't sit there six months waiting on my shit to be cool. But dude, was, man, that's a good question, bro. What's your name? Ivan from Whittier, man. I used to trip out. I used to think that was you. Uh, your nah, voice. nah, that's, yeah, boy can rap, man. Whittier, where the girls are prettier. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. All good, all good. All right, man. I found it. Hey, man. do they still up, they, they still cruising out there, man? Or they or they stopped it? No, they trying to ban it, man. The the cops be really on it. Yeah, because Whittier trying used to, to be the stop. fucking spot, boy. Like cruising Whittier, boy. Absolutely. Spot like you like a, a Crenshaw on Sunday, Crenshaw on Sunday, and Whittier. Oh no, Crenshaw is dead already. Yeah, they, no, I'm saying I'm saying them one. two spots. Used to be back the shit back in the day. Oh yeah, yeah. It was kind of equal, you know. Yeah, all good, caller. Appreciate you, homie. All right, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, let's keep it pushing. Let's keep it pushing. Who wants to push it? Okay, let's go. Uh, caller, your name and where are you calling from? Hey, what's up, Tony? This is Richard from the Harbor area, man. What's up, uh, Richard from the Harbor? Harbor. Oh, not much. Hey, what up, Heisey? What's up with you, Richard? Oh, chilling, bro. Chilling. Man, I've been wanting to ask you a question, man, for the longest. Okay. So, long story short, man. Uh-huh. Uh, back in the early 2000s, like 2000, between 2000 and 2003, the homie gave me a mix, uh, like a mix CD, you know, full of mixed stuff, full of, like, he said it was DJ Quick and his homie. So, I heard a song, and it was yours. And it was something called I Got the Fly. The 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 beat sounded kinda like a blue type of a beat, but obviously I mean it was hip hop, but it was something about I got the fly. I got I don't the know fly. If, you, if you can name that man. I got the fly. Yeah. I don't remember. Man, that it's one. probably one of them I don't like I said, we got so much shit that didn't come out. I don't remember that one, man, the fly. Do you remember how it went, bro? Other than Yeah, it could yeah, I, I mean, I mean, I miss on Sally, but I'll show you, like, tell you the beat. It, it was like a flu, and they're like, oh, uh, I, I got the fly, and then you start rapping. That that, that beat they go. Mm, 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 the flu shit, you know that break beat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, I've been trying to. Mm, 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 who used that shit? Uh, I know it's not the break beat, the, the flute beat from Herbie Hancock. I think that's it. Okay, because I know I know Quick used it. Yeah. It might have been like a demo that he just never that's released. Probably sub- yeah, it probably was, though, a demo that we didn't release. Because I Because you know what? Yeah. Even yeah. Uh, that's Herbie Hancock? That DJ Quick yeah. song, uh, that Loped Out Hood. Yeah. You know how at the end where he was all like, hey, you know what's the name of my hood? And uh-huh. I figured that shit out, fool. Uh-huh. But on that, he actually said his neighborhood. Yeah, because And that's, it was a bunch of, it was one, just man. a bunch of different quick, like quick, high C, Mossberg was on that shit, some sugar free stuff. Uh, it was just a bunch of UMG playing him, all quick homies. And I just remember that song that he made there, and like, that shit just stuck in my man, head. Yeah, it was probably something that was like, man, yeah, that that's, shit was hard as fuck, though. Thank you, man. That's probably something that we did, like, uh, that we did that just never came out, you know, because that tape that Quick did, it was really like for us the neighborhood tape when he said whatever he said on the end of it. Yeah, and uh, like people used to really yeah, yeah. start circulating, and that kind of helped help with the record deal. Like people was on that shit. You yeah, because I remember that same sample. Jere hey, used like, it yo. for uh, 
uh, what's that? It don't matter. Just don't bite it. Oh, yeah. And then he couldn't do it. They, yeah. they couldn't use it because Herbie Hancock wasn't having it. But go ahead, caller. Hey, uh, so there's no way we can find that on, like, on YouTube or anything? Man, no, I don't, I don't think so. If they do, look, I want to hear that shit. I'd be surprised. <laughs> I'd be, like, surprised just as some, some of the people that, that ask me about shit. When I hear it, I just laugh sometimes. Like, oh, shit, this is what I was thinking, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. So I, I would want to hear that shit my damn self. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's just hard, bro. But hey, homie, thank uh, you, man. West Coast legend, you are, bro. And uh, good, good. That was good talking, to you, man. Yeah, appreciate Later the call, call bro. Later appreciate you. you. Yeah, call back. Thank you, my bro. Okay, let's go. Let's keep it pushing. Let's see. We missed about seven calls. Okay, here's another one. Caller, your name and where are you calling from? Hey, what's up, Tone? This is your boy Javi G. Boy, I, boy. Could, I could tell that voice. This is my boy from Colorado. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, for sure. Hey. The one you what's go up there, boy, do, do the, uh, Okay, what's up with you, man? Chill it, chill it. I, I just want to send a shout out to High C. Man, I appreciate um, that. Hey, you guys taught me a bud thing with uh, wearing Cortezes, khakis, and white tees. Hey, man. you, you, you send a lot of shit out here to Colorado. Yeah, and uh, I just want to say thank you, man. That shit was fire, dog. I love, I love bullshitting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, let me tell you a story real quick. Let me tell, yeah. let me tell you a story real quick. Give it to me. Jack Moog got me in trouble. Oh shit! Because uh, my 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 deal, we're at the path, and these these pythons were fighting in the in the parking <laughs> lot, and yeah. I was all, "She got the mother in," uh-huh. and he's all, "Shut up, people!" You know what I mean? Like, hey, you guys all almost got me fucked up, but I mean. She was fire, dog. And man. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? My yeah. deal got crazy. God you know what I mean? Damn. But, uh, man, that's crazy. I like that story, the... bro. I like that shit, bro. Yeah. Hey, hey, let with me tell you this. Pictures with everything with. Let me tell you this. Like, when I, when I, you know, like shit, you know, I'm, I'm with the hint they right, growing up. And when you learn shit, of yeah. course, you always learn the bad words first. You don't never learn, like, uh, perdoname and excuse me and the good shit you always learn like you know dame la panocha all the shit solo la puntita yeah yeah and, all that kind of shit right that's the kind of shit that was yeah. like, and then when you know like me and Tone doing the shit you always learn the fucked up words yes the bad words the palabras yeah. you learn those first yes and it was like man at that time yeah. I wanted to flex my skill so that's how I was like jing <laughs> But yeah, it's <laughs> damn, bro. Yeah, that's man. that's a good hey. story, man. Oh. Much love, dog. You know what I mean? You could, you almost have me fuck a bitch's froggy style. God damn! Come on, bro. <laughs> hey, a lot of you people have I mean? told me. Hey, man. I'm old school, dog. I'm yeah. old school, <laughs> I'm not. Absolutely. I got you. High C's one of my favorite albums. Scandalous. Is- Man, you know what? I if I could find you. that on vinyl, I'd pay five hundred for it Ooh, right now. Oh shit! Look, I got you one at the house, man. Give me. I'm gonna send you my cash out right now. I need I that five hundred. I'm gonna go buy me some jewelry. My boy, I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> now, I appreciate you, man. I, I love that story, Thank man. You. And I tell people, let me tell you this, dude. While we Hell live, yeah. I never, ever, ever let this shit get old to me, bro. I appreciate everybody that appreciates our music. And I always take time. Like, if I they want a picture, whatever, I'm never like, God, it's like, hey, well, I'll do it later. I'm too busy or I'm this and this and that. I could be tired as well. yeah. But I'm still make sure I appreciate. Like, it's to me, it's like God gave us a chance to display our talents. And I never, ever yeah. take that shit for granted. Absolutely. I got gratitude. Yeah, like, yeah. Don't be a dick. Take a pin. Yeah, yeah, man. You know what sure. I mean? I like that one. That's a T-shirt. That's a much T-shirt. Much love. I love you. I Tony, love you back, bro. Everybody, much love. Follow and baby, my brother. Yes, I sir. love you guys. All good, my brother. You know what's funny, Crump? That Rasa always comes up to me and says, I'm not your puppet, but the brothers always come up to me. Chinga tu madre. <laughs> Crazy, bro. <laughs> Call her your name or where are you calling from? Oh, Pedro. Calling from the Valle. What's good, my brother? How you doing? Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, I can't believe I'm talking to you fools. Yeah. <laughs> what's up with you, man? <laughs> I, 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 I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it quick. Um, yeah. So, Tony, what's your favorite song from the album? I'm not your puppet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not your puppet. From your first album and High C, what is your favorite song from that album? And from the first before album? you guys go, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna tell you mine. It's called Do It 
Oh, oh okay. Because yeah. I, I love how he, I love how he, I love how he sees energy, bro. Thank I you, man. I just want to do it, do, uh, do it, it, do it. Yeah. And even do the last like song, even the it. last song, even the last, uh, the, I, I believe it's called, uh, the, I I, Let I, me you know. Won't, I, I won't call you crappy. You won't yeah. call me slap. Yeah. Oh man, all yeah. that, all that, bro. Yeah. It's, it's and I was doing that man. shit. I, I was doing that shit back then guys. too, man. Talking about it, but no, I appreciate you, man. Like I would yeah. say, on the first, on the first, uh, the first album, I just have to go with the energy of uh, just doing. I'm not your puppet, man. That just that shit was just classic to me because the way it was done, where we did it at, and then we ended up in. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Dre's studio with Donovan the Dirt Bike. Like we had some experiences, bro, that yeah. that album put us in that was like to me like it was mesmerizing, bro. Like yeah. be sitting in the same spot where Easy E was doing his shit at. And, yeah. Same and, mic yeah, recording, same, same headphones. Yeah. Everything. Same vocal booth. History. It, yeah, yeah, it was definitely a, a, for me it was, Crawford is probably a mixture of two songs. Mm-hmm. But my favorite one is probably one that we had to edit because it was super dirty. Mm-hmm. And even though we meant it like that, because the album is called Scandalous. Yeah. Okay. Probably the most simplest song, which was Two at a Time. The everybody the say that shit. <laughs> Yes. You everybody know. say that shit. Yeah, yeah. We had to change it around, man. Yeah. <laughs> KK, me and K, man. That shit was crazy. I would say the one that I was tied with was Punk Shit. Punk Shit, yeah. I really like that. I, I really like Punk Shit, because yeah, that shit hey, is a the, true uh, story. Uh, t- Tony, uh, the, um, I remember you always say, I produce this, I produce that, I produce this, I produce that. But as far as I remember last time, I mean, on the last podcast, you said you produce um, on the fo- A lot of people don't, don't know Folsom. They'll be like, fo- for some? Like, nah, Folsom. Mm. If you look at, like, how, how you said that G shit song, oh man, banger, bro. Yeah. It, it, you know what kind of reminded me of? What's that, bro? Kind of me uh, of Mr. E's introduction, like the same production, you know? Yes. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Straight right. banger, mo man. I just want to give you guys your fucking props, man. I appreciate, I appreciate you, man. you guys, man. I yeah, appreciate Tony. You. I appreciate High Energy Crawford. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right like, on. man, it's it's history in the it's it's history, not in the making, but that's already been done. You know what I mean? And that Hell people yeah. are barely trying to go see right now. See, I, I like talking to callers like this because you know your shit, your history, man, and you got the good energy, bro. Yeah. Keep up the good vibe. Absolutely. Hell yeah, good. Cause I'm Antonio, I'm a la panocha. Scandalous. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, scandalous. All right, I'll see, you, I'll see you guys later, man. You guys have a good night, man. I appreciate you guys. Hell All yeah, right, be my safe brother. Out there. Yes. And even Prince came out with, remember, Scandalous. Huh. That shit was fucking hilarious. Man. Rest in peace, Prince. Let's go right here. Call her your name and where are you calling from? <laughs> What's up, Tony A? This is Big Tim, man. Rio Grande Valley, Harlingen, Texas, man, South Texas. Oh, right on. What's going on, brother? What's up, my brother? Yeah, I, I, I was the one that called him with Afro and Black Sea. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, man. How you doing? How you doing, my brother? Oh, brother, I'm blessed. I can't complain. I'm just, I'm just thankful to, to start performing again, bro. Uh, it's almost like this is my hey, second man. wind. Well, let me tell you something, Tony, before we go right, before I'm going to save my piece and everything, because I'm so excited I got through, man. I was in a, I was in a near-death car accident, man. Uh, just me and my, my seven-year-old daughter, man, some stupid idiot, man, turned right in front of us, man, and we smashed into them. So I'm recovering. I'm getting back, man. We, we, we're here. Praise the Lord, man, that we're, we're all good, man. Life is just a blink away, man. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm getting back on my feet, and I'm feeling good. Um, but I'm so happy I got through, man. Yeah, man, car accidents are a bitch, dude. Sorry to but hear anyways, that, man. Um, oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that, man. It was it, it's rough, man. But anyways, man, you too, man. Number, <laughs> I'm so happy I got through, man, because I called like about 50 times already. <laughs> you guys, man, you guys are like the Blues Brothers to me, man. I'm so happy That's that dope. you guys are back doing your thing. You do not have any idea. I've been putting this in the universe for about two years now since you first brought Croft on. Yeah. Uh, uh, a few years, a few years ago, where you guys came out. But uh, I know we got to keep this quick, man, and all this stuff. Man, I'm so excited to talk to you guys, man. Especially high C, high C, brother. 
you, I mean, you and Tony are legends in my eyes, dude. Yeah, I appreciate like, it. Thank you. You guys are, you guys are something. You all are hip hop to me. Compton Hoochies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, used that, I used to jam that track. Yeah. I had an old school Buick, man. I had a Buick Regal Coupe. Uh -huh. I used to jam that drinking 40, smoking blunt. Man. Compton Hoochies, man. I'm not even out, out down here in Texas, but man, everybody loved all that reggae stuff you guys did. Yeah. All the clicks, bomb buds. All that, everybody at the party, you. I would bring the tapes man. down here in South Texas, man. But but I got to tell you about the Scandalous album. I got to let you know this, man, as a, as a humongous fan and uh, as a hip-hop brother also, because I'm a hip-hop, I go way, I, I'm a hip-hop nut, man, like Tony mm. A. Absolutely. Uh, when you guys dropped Scandalous, when you guys dropped Scandalous, it didn't come out like, Quick's album or second to none. They it wasn't hard. It wasn't as easy to get as Quick stuff or or um, or the second to none or even AMGs. And when I saw, I think I saw y'all in rap pages or uh -huh. I don't know, man. I saw y'all. I saw y'all's advertising in a magazine, and I was like, oh shit, because I'd heard I see on the in the Quick's album that cipher track that y'all have that that yeah. The one I'm busting nuts on your little baby's <laughs> hairs like. And I had, to, I was like, man, I'm getting that motherfucker. I got everybody's album from y'all's crew. Yeah, everybody's I appreciate album. That, man. But, but the thing, the funny thing was, to this day, you are the only artist, bro. And I've bought fucking all kinds of Metallica to fucking Anthrax to yeah. goddamn everything. You're the only artist, bro, that I bought your tape. I bought your tape twice. Whoa. I literally went, I drove an hour from where I lived to get it, man, because they were the only place that had it. And then, then that motherfucker sold out quick. God, I was man. like, damn, man, I know people knew about IC like that yeah. in Texas, especially down here. I, I live near Mexico. Yeah. So I bought your tape twice, bro. And, um, and and to be honest with you, I bought it because of you, I see my brother, uh -huh. but I grew up where, where we live in the real Grand Valley. It's it's all it's mainly Mexican. Yeah. So for us to see a Mexican, like it was crazy. Like so when I saw it featuring Tony A, yeah. I was like, who the fuck is Tony A? <laughs> and, and I I kind of bought the tape kind of for Tony A because yeah. I thought he was yeah. a rapper. Yeah. So I bought, but I mean mainly because of High C. I'm not gonna bullshit on that. But I was like, oh shit, he's got a Mexican with him. Yeah. God damn, this is like. Amazing! Do, yeah. I gotta get this fucking record. So I drove an hour to get the fucking album. It was in McAllen, Texas, and I got it. I don't know who y'all's distributor was back then, but they 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 had it in a place called Camelot Records back in those days. I remember Camelot and Camelot, and I bought the tape, and I yeah. bought that motherfucker home, and I showed the old hood. But I was like, when does uh, Tony A rap? You know, and then like, <laughs> yeah, I, and I'm a motherfucker. I'm a type of motherfucker. Yeah. No, I'm a type of motherfucker. And Tony A is like me, and I'm like Tony A. We read the credits, the uh -huh. thank yous, everything. Yeah. That that was a big thing to me. The little fold outs, yeah, man. and everything. And then I realized he was a producer. So look, and check, I was like, oh shit. Check I, this out. This is what I got to do, man. Since it, you drove an hour. If you ever, we ever cross paths, if you come to a show and we had a show somewhere around there, make sure you let me know, man. And I, I got to buy you a beer. You, you went an hour for my tape. I'm going to go right to the <laughs> bar. That, brother. I'm going to go right to the bar and get you, get you a motherfucking drink. Cause <laughs> you deserve well, that. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sipping some, <laughs> hey man, well, I, I, I'm going to be real with you, man. I'm at home right now. I'm sipping some Florida Kanye rum man, with some banana man. pineapple juice. And I'm watching, I'm literally watching the Wham show. documentary. I'm watching the fucking Wham documentary. Wham. Yeah. Wham. I, I like shit like but, that, but, bro. I'm, I'm the same but, way. I I like all kinds of music, man. That's how we survive. Oh man. hell we yeah, dude. Off each other, bro. I love that shit. I'm going. Yeah, I was going to. I was going to physical therapy today, man. Uh, and the and uh, Master of Puppets came on. I was like, man, I love that fucking jam. Yeah. And I know that song word for word, word man. I can perform that shit. I can perform <laughs> that song karaoke. I did it one time on yeah. acid. On oh, <laughs> acid. But anyways, man. So, so yeah, on acid, bro. One time, uh, and that blew the fucking crowd away. And uh, my Michelle from the Beatles too. I know that song word for word. Michelle, Michelle my bell, my that one. Yep. But, but, okay. So your tape, I got your tape, bro. Uh huh. 
and I banged that shit everywhere. Everybody wanted dubs of that shit. I appreciate Everybody, you. I wouldn't let, I wouldn't let, I would not lend the tape out. If you wanted to dub it, I had to go to your house. Yeah. And you had to put, bust out a 40 ounce. How much, blunt. how much you charge? I'm not going yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. Nothing. A 40 <laughs> ounce and a blunt. That's it. That's, that's it. That's all I charged was a 40 ounce. We, we didn't get OE back in here, down here in Texas. We got Mickey's. I know and some and of the Mexican weed, yeah. and, and and uh, but everybody wanted your fucking tape, man. And uh, the funny thing was, I had the tape until it popped. I see that's, until it that's real popped. shit. Yeah, when Biggie Small say that shit, bro, that yeah, shit is I true. Because I didn't rewind tapes and rewind. Tapes no, I had it until like, it popped, bro. It didn't even have all the lettering came off. There were, it was just you. You didn't know yeah. side A or side B. That's true, and the bro. Tape popped. So I literally fucking That's got true. some screwdrivers and shit, and I opened up the tape, hey, you like and I me. spliced it. Uh-huh, I put that motherfucker back together. Out, this is some funny shit. I spliced that motherfucker, man, because I love that tape, dude. Anywhere I go, fucking parties or whatever, that was my shit. Damn. And um, I spliced the fucking tape with, with, with tape. Yeah. But somehow, man, the longer I had it, it started to just completely play in reverse. <laughs> God. Like, like Damn. that old school back masking devil worship shit. You sure? You sure <laughs> it when was that ended? First... No, 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 no. This was way before <laughs> I'd done that. I was just herb. I was like, I was like, uh, fucking uh, Craig, and I drink. I, oh, I wasn't even yeah. smoking really back then. Yeah. It, so yeah, but it, it fucking somehow, man, the tape that twisted. Motherfucker. So every time you would play it, it would only get to a certain uh, uh, time count, and then it would play in reverse. I got to buy you a drink, bro. That's, I know exactly what you're talking about because I went through that same shit. You take the guts out. You take, you get a little Phillips screwdriver, and sometimes we didn't have it. So I used mom's steak knife with the pointiest one she got, the more fucked up steak knife, and take out, take out the screws and take that tape because your tape cracked or something fucked up. And you take the little slide. You got to take that little material that makes the wheel slide. It's like two little layers of plastic, like not even plastic. And you put that motherfucker back into another case. And that motherfucker start playing yeah. like brand new, bro. <laughs> All good color. Well, it worked for a while, man. But I, that, that's my thing, man. I bought your tape twice. I appreciate I, you. I, I had to have it again, man. I had to have it again. And I know, man, I'm not going to keep you guys uh, uh, on, man. But Crawford, man, that's another thing. Because of you, man, I never heard the name Crawford. Yeah. And then, uh, Crawford, Crawford. Man, I, I got a jersey that I bought, man, back in like 90... 93, bro. It's yeah. a Pittsburgh Crawford Negro League That's baseball, a Negro League baseball team. Uh, yeah, jersey. Sure. I bought it because of you. I, I appreciate that. I bought, I bought that I, You know what's crazy? Name. I bought one of them too because I saw my name on it. But there is a spot out there in Texas from what I, I hear it's called Crawford, Texas too, right? Uh, I'm not too sure, man. Yeah. But I still have that Crawford jersey because it's made of pure hemp. Yeah. So, man, this yeah. shit is still like it's 93. It's still clean, bro. It's in great condition. Yeah, and I man, still support I, that bitch, man. I appreciate you, man. I wish wish you a speedy recovery, and thank God nothing happened to your baby, man. Absolutely, thank and, you, and man. get well, if bro, you, and, and drive safe. You, you can't drive for wearing, people. If you want to see me wearing that Crawford jersey, there's a song that I, I did a video with my homeboy. It's called "Break" by MC Pizzi, Pizzi, and Big Ten. And I'm wearing the jersey in the video, man. I'm the have Crawford the jersey. They looking it up right and, now. Uh, but I appreciate you guys, dude. I'm thank so you, happy brother. you guys are. Are connecting and and back on the road and doing your thing. We need y'all, man. Thank we you. We fucking bro. need y'all because this music nowadays is trash, bro. It's trash. <laughs> but these kids. I owe you a kids, beer. I swear to God, man. I owe you a beer. Bro. I know you guys did crazy music and talking about froggy style and all yeah. that, but man, at least the shit was fucking dope. And you could hear rap and yeah. man, this shit, this auto tune bullshit. I, I just man, I hear. I, I mean, I'm not trying to be a hater. You can call me a hater. I don't care, man. This music, they they got nothing to say, bro. They just living to die and dying to live. Man, I just, I don't know, man. Okay. This music is horrible. I'm an old school hip hop cat, man, but I'm a real motherfucker. And uh, I appreciate you guys coming back together. Thank you, my bro. And um, I hope you guys can get back in the studio and put something new out. Yeah. A new high C and Tony A. Gantlet 2023. I don't know what the fuck. Fucking fuck Joe Biden uh, 2023. <laughs> you know what? All good, Caller. We got to go, Caller. We got to go, brother. <laughs> something real. Yes, hey, sir. real quick, Tony A., before I go. I, man, I was, so ha- I was so happy, and I love you guys. God bless you both. 
uh, when you did the Cobra interview from uh, you, Bo- you, Bo- you uh, tribe. Booyah Tribe. Yes. Hey, man, check out. Do you know who Ray Love is? No. It doesn't ring a bell. You don't know who Ray Love is? No, refresh I, my memory. You know who Ray Love is? Ray Love. That sounds familiar. Man. I see, you know Ray Love from Santa Rosa, California, Young Black Brother Records, Mac Mall, Mac Dre, Tupac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he, yeah. Was, he, he had the... Yeah, I'm okay. like, I know that Okay, man, he's Love, back yeah. on the scene. Yeah, he Ray Love had a group with Tupac before Tupac was anything. It was called Strictly Dope. Two, uh, Ray Love is a fucking good brother, man. And he's a dope name, artist. Bro. Tony A. Mac, look Thank him you. up, man. I would love to see him on your show one day, bro. He he deserves some some like man. He's a good brother he's from Santa Rosa, California, dope. up there in uh, in the Bay. Thank you, my brother. We Ray gotta... Love, Ray okay, Love, brother. man. Check check out his music, bro. Ray Love. Okay, thank he you, know, bro. He has a fucking. He's an amazing guy. Love you guys, man. Peace out. I love. Okay, good. I'm trying to keep the calls five minutes. That was a 12 minute phone call, but I appreciate Homeboy. Yeah. I truly do. It's he just. T- he told it like it is. Yeah, I just want to be mindful of all the other callers because we missed about 10 phone calls. So, callers, if you want to call in right now, we have the time. Okay, here we go. Uh, caller, your name, or where are you calling from? Oh, uh, yo, this is Daniel from Santa Maria. What's up, Daniel? How you doing? Good, man. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty dope show tonight. I was wondering, uh, are you guys possibly planning on working on a new album? Daniel, you sound familiar. What's your last name, Daniel? Do I know you? Rivera. Oh, okay. No, I thought I knew my bad. No. You sound like my boy. I'm like, Daniel, you fucking with me? (laughs) I'm like, Daniel, stop fucking with me. I sound like Jeffrey (laughs) Dahmer. No, my boy, I I got a Daniel Miller that stay out there, too. I thought Daniel was fucking with me. Oh, yeah. yeah. All no, good. But as far no. as as far as future music, I'm always down. I'm always open. Right now, what we're trying to do is just get back on the road. And, uh, you know, our ears will probably be open to some new shit once we're on the road. And when we come back, anything is possible, bro. Yep. Yeah. Are, are you guys doing any shows in California? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll have more dates after this show, bro. So uh, I'll be posting those up for those oh, that... Yeah. That, that follow me but we're most likely going to be going everywhere bro so but just stay tuned bro and uh, um, I'll be posting those those interview I mean I those those dates soon yeah I don't I don't got an Instagram are you doing it on YouTube as well yes on YouTube as well on my community page I'll post everything oh, up there oh. Oh. so hell yeah hell yeah, yeah I appreciate hey, you my man. brother dope. dope ass show man you Thank guys you. have a good night right on Dan thank you Bye. Daniel Okay, let's keep it pushing. And and uh, for those of you that don't have Facebook or uh, Instagram, um, I put it on my community. So check it out there. Check it out there on YouTube. Call it your name or where are you calling from? Hey, what's going on, Tony? And hi, see, this is Eddie from uh, Yuma County, Arizona. How's everybody going? What up, Eddie? Yes, sir. How you doing, my brother? Hey, hey, what's going on? Nothing much. Just for having a uh, you know a little. Little cigarette, you know, enjoying the day, and uh, I just wanted to to bust a freestyle off to you guys, you know, just to like a tribute to you guys, cause yeah. you guys are like the, the coolest guys, you know, like yeah, you want can I bust one of us? Yeah, for sure. Go Tony, for it. Go oh, I'll, I'll bust one. All right, all right. Tony A, High C, and Eddie, we got it ready and rock steady to get the girls tonight. We're gonna be flowing and fitting right. We got them out, out of sight. I'm ready to rap because literally I come lyrically strapped. For tonight, because it's gonna be the best fight. I'm excited because the things get fighting, but what's it together? Because no one gets it on my level. So this hip hop block on my block is the greatest because I bring it nonstop. This AV stuff's the greatest because the heat is the latest. But who knows about me? This Eddie, MC Caddy from the streets of AV. But coming from LA, that's where I was from. So don't get me wrong about the kingdom come. Coming from all of y'all, that this is the best basketball tonight, and it's gonna be fight, ill, chill. Like Kill Bill showed Kanchina how to kill Bill. That's right. Live it up tonight. Ah, uh, I'm out of sight. Let me rock the show. People on blow. Car buried under white snow. Left with nowhere to go. I'm up on stage just freaking blaze. Kicking that hip hop, not that flip flop. Fuck the mainstream and motherfuck pop. I listen to rock, reggae, and heavy metal. Cause I'm no different than those fruits making all that chatter. Verse two, I don't dream brew, but when you blame my music, you play all the way through. Here I go, here I go, not a friend or a foe. Just a young ass, bother looking out for my dough. 
not caring for the world, just looking for my girl, just to let her know how slow I flow. Come with me and you will see what you could be. Just be with me. Now you know what I mean, what is to be seen with a really scary man. I'll always love you because you did understand. What do you guys think about that? Right on. No, I, I fuck with that, Eddie. You know why? Because, you know, I'm, I'm a lyricist. I write and all that shit. I fuck with it simply because you was freestyling for real. And I could tell because you put our names in it. You switched it up. And it's like some people don't get me wrong. Even if it's freestyle, they would have verses that they rehearse because I do the same thing. Sometimes I have verses already ready. And then I have shit like I can just freestyle right. too. So I appreciate that freestyle. How old are you, man? Oh, uh, bro. I was born in April, April 11, 1988. So what does that mean right now? 35 or 36? Yeah. 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 Uh, all right, Eddie, I'm going to tell everybody on the yeah. live chat to either put flames or tomatoes. Okay, flames or tomatoes. Uh, I, we'll let the people decide. Eddie, I like that though, bro. I yeah. fuck with you. Hey. Thank you, Eddie. I, bro, yeah. Yeah, I, okay. I appreciate that you actually called uh -huh. in and freestyled because not yeah. too many people have the balls to do that. Exactly. Bro. They scared to do it. And Eddie, you ain't scared. So I appreciate it. I fuck with you. Exactly. Nah, I ain't scared. Uh, my, I'm, just wait, I'm just waiting my time, bro. I'm just yeah. waiting. I started writing lyrics and shit and flow, along with the rap and shit when I was like 21. You know, I used to go to VIP, dog, where Snoop Dogg did his first video and they were cool with me, bro. And uh, they, they, uh, they closed down, you know, and they broke my heart, you know, so. I wow. couldn't go there no more. You know, I used to, yeah. I used to live in Carson. I used to live in Carson, you know, and uh, oh. and now go on the bus on the um, Long Beach Transit to, to to Torrance and to PCH and then take it to PCH to, to Long Beach to Martin Luther King. And, and uh, yeah, man, I'd be buying my CDs. I got a lot of good stuff out there. Yeah, a lot of good shit. A lot of East Coast hip hop. They even like good favors. You know, they're good people. Hey, they they would, uh, you, hey. know, like, you know, how, like, you know how like, they're like a hip hop star. They would even, they would even order like heavy metal CDs for me, like, you know, like forbidden and overkill. You know, like the guy I was talking before the call, like, you know, I was into that 80s stuff too, you know, like, like like heavy metal and stuff. You know, like, can't, before, like, you know what, like, Tony A, you know Led Zeppelin, right? What's that? The group? You know the, the group Led Zeppelin? Oh, yeah, oh, Led yeah. Zeppelin, yes. Yeah, yeah you know that song, Stairway to Heaven? Yes. Stairway to Heaven? Yeah, look, I talked to my voice too on the Stairway to Heaven. Look, let me see if you, what do you think about it? Look. And she's buying the stairway to heaven. All good, my bro. Thank you, man. What do you think about that? That's dope. That's <laughs> dope. Montreal, Tony. I'm, well, I'm glad that you called that, my friend. that you actually have the balls to actually do what you're doing. I'm going to tell you why. And I want to put these guys on blast because 95% of the Chicano rappers that come here don't ever want to rap live. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Eddie, out there serving I'll rap on the shit. I'll rap on the shit. I'll rap in the studio. Yeah. All good, bro. But listen, we're running out of time, big dog. I got to let you go. Any shout outs or anything you want to say before we hang up? Yeah, shout out to, to my family in the, the, the Dev City, you know, uh, yeah, you know, and, and uh, all the people over there in Cali, you know, Southern Cali, just chilling and shit, enjoying the, the good sunshine, and, you know, I'm just right here, mining, mining, AZ, just, Eddie, you know, keep, it's just cool, Eddie, you know, keep like, doing your shit, man, just keep on at it, bro, you never know, like, like I said before, I was talking to Tony earlier and shit, like, you never know where to go viral, bro, so yep. don't let nobody discourage you from doing your shit, man. Absolutely. Do you shit, Eddie? Hey, bro, like, you, you, guys, you guys speaking about viral? I got a couple of videos you guys could check out of me. I probably put them up, like, Sunday. And not even, like, songs, just, like, like 30 second samples of, like, freestyle up, like you said, like, freestyle pop up on brain stuff. And, like, like vocals with, like, heavy metal stuff, like, Judas Priest and Led Zeppelin. Just check it out. It's a MC Caldi and raps. And, and that's something should pop out. You know, I got Wait, like, I'm going to let, them, I'm gonna let the, the producers write it down. What is it? MC Cali. It's, yeah, MC and then Space. C A L like California and uh, space E for my name Eddie M C Cali. All uh, good. Oh M C Cal E, I got you, bro. Okay, thank All you, right, bro. Eddie, we go on, man. Thank you, appreciate you, homie. Okay, that was dope. Uh, we'll take a couple of more phone calls and we are out of here. Let's see. Call it your name or where are you calling from? Hey, what's up, you guys? This is another shameless plug. Miguelitos tattoos on Instagram. Miguelito, where you been, bro? You haven't been on in, in a minute. Hey, man, I had to change my schedule, man. I, I've, been, I've been working different in the mornings, man. Oh, okay, okay. All good. All good. Go for it, bro. Hey, but I'm glad you asked. All right, I got two questions uh, for both of you guys. Yes. Uh, first question. 
Uh, all right. Um, what do you guys think? Well, actually, it's, this, this question is actually for uh, Hi-C. Hi-C, yeah, uh, yeah. nice to meet your man, Musta Wusso. It's an honor and privilege to finally get to talk to you. All right, look. My first question is, do you, have you ever seen a UFO? Oh, that's you. Now, you, now you're stepping into my domain. I, I really, I'm into that shit, bro. I listen to Coast to Coast almost every fucking day. That starts at 10. You you familiar with Coast to Coast? The yeah. alien show, the, the network. So they talk about all the aliens, the spacecraft and all the shit. So I, um, I didn't see a UFO, but I seen some other shit like spirit type ghost shit like that. So I believe in other stuff like that. It's just, that's another topic for another story, but I, I'm into that shit like that. I like the, the study and I just, I'm, I'm like smart. So enough you have to, seen one. You have seen one, right? Not a, not Make a, short. Not a UFO, but a, just an entity I have. Yeah, and that shit scared the shit out of me. Something but, paranormal. Yep. Yeah, I seen that shit when I was little. All right, man. Ago. So this next question is my last question, man. Uh-huh. I, I've waited 10 years to ask you this question, so oh. it's, it's, it's going to be a blessing for you to answer it, right? Okay. All right, man. Here goes. Are you down right now to bust a freestyle for Rodeo on Radio? A freestyle for Rodium Radio? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. <laughs> I could do that. All right. Where are you at? Where is that? He gone? No, I'm saying did he No, he's there. He's there listening. Oh, okay. Drop the beat. Drop the beat, Tony. Look, look, look. All I got some old school mixtape beats, so if you can't feel them, you can't feel them. Okay, dude. Shit, go, dude. go. P- play fight. something. I got, I got the... Uh, I got the Eddie, the Eddie spirit, man. I can do okay, it. Okay, you got this one, on. or put, put that first one on. What about something like that? What was the other one? Give us another one. Oh shit! Some rock sound, like that. They all sound the same and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Similar. I said, talk about the radio. Here we, here we, here we go. Right here on the motherfucking Wizard Show. Y'all fuck with me, I fuck with you too. Can't no niggas do it like we do. I'm smooth with the shit. I make hits. We talking about the radio. Shut up, bitch. I'm coming to your show to get down. All I need you to do is pull them panties on down. And so la puntita. Bitch, I'm coming through your speaker. It's the H, the I, the C. Y'all niggas cannot fuck with me. I took a break for a minute, now I'm back, claiming CPT, right from the trees, on your knees, give it to your motherfuckers like a disease, ooh, I'm sick, you can suck dick, and bitch, if you can't, you better get, yeah, I ride you like a horse, like a pony, like a truck, I don't give a fuck, yo, I still toss it up, niggas wanna run up, they'll get buck, Tony, yeah, you know me, I never get stuck, I hit the ass hard, have a bitch singing, oh my lord, but back to the show. This nigga want me to freestyle about the radio. Rhodium, bitch. I said, Rhodium, bitch. Rhodium, bitch. I'm freestyling. I'm air scratching. Yep. Right, and it's hot already. Y'all niggas better not diss my homie Eddie. Fuck that. I ain't a hater. Let him rap now, not later. I'm trying to find something to rhyme with tomato. <laughs> Y'all better stop that shit, you haters. Right, stop, Let stop. it go, you fucking dog shit piece of goddamn. <laughs> Let that boy live, man. Stop putting them fucking tomatoes on there for Eddie. I'll be back. Motherfucker. And let that boy sing. Goodbye. <laughs> Fuck that man dreams up. He might shoot something up. Y'all fucking with Eddie? All good. All Keep good. it on, Eddie. All good. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, Miguelito. And that was a real hey, freestyle. I ain't had time to yeah, write that motherfucking shit down. I see you just made history. Thank you, brother. <laughs> you put me on the spot and shit, but I, I don't give a fuck. I do this shit. Nah, I mean, okay, let's go. Let's go. We're going to take a couple of more phone then we out of here. We out of here because we got to get our music together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, let's go. Call her your name or where are you calling from? Hey, what's up, Tony A? What's up, Hi C? What up, what up? Hey, it's a pleasure to talk to you, uh, Hi C. My question for you, you, Hi C, who yeah. are your top five artists? Oh, that's a good question, man. Oh, shit. The top five? You mean dead or alive or just what? Well, I got a category, just of all yeah. time. Past, presence, dead or alive. 
who are your top five that you listen to a lot? Man, my top five, it's going it's crazy, man. I, uh, my top five, I gotta put, uh, I gotta put, I gotta put rest in peace. I gotta put old dirt in there. I love old dirty bastard, man. That's just like people that know me kind of know, like quick be like, man, sometimes I be playing the shit out of the, the woo. Shout out to the woo. Shout out right Meth, on. man. Me and Meth is cool. Every time he see me, like, oh, yeah, I had to kind of remind him. He's like, yeah, he, he cool. He tap in with me, but whatever. But I like old dirt. I love Eminem, man. Eminem is just a lyricist. As far as the new school, I'm fucking with K Dot, Kendrick, Kung Fu Kenny. That motherfucker can rap, right bro. On. Right and uh, that's three. It's hard, man. It's like, because, you know, I'm a just honorable mentions is my boy Mossberg. Mossberg was on his way, bro. Honorable mention, Mossberg. Right and then, you know, of course, I got to mention PC. Yeah. It's also with Easy, man. Easy Tony will tell you, Easy took a while to track his shit, but he was so unique. Like, Easy will take a long time to do a 16. <laughs> he would be like, damn, he like finished. But when he did that shit, it was fire, bro. And um like god damn man I'ma say uh like like man all time god damn I I, I love Jay Z man I ain't gonna lie I fuck with Jay Z a lot I look fuck with Wayne uh, right on you know all and good. It's, uh, yeah that's right damn that's five but see that ain't fair because you got a nigga like sugar free that'll say some shit that always have you laughing and, and you know like right I on. just like different shit bro. I like different shit. Uh, yeah. All right, well, thanks a lot for answering those five. Uh, yeah. It was interesting hearing your top five. Yeah, I have it. a trivia for you, Tony. Yes, sir. What hit was on the B side of 1987 Run DMC? It's tricky 12 inch single. Fuck. Wait, it's, it's tricky? Yeah, that's, that's, I believe that's their second, I mean, their third album, bro, Raising Hell, if I'm correct. Um, that's correct. It's tricky, bro. You got, you oh, no, on the other side, it's tricky. It. Yeah, on the other side, I mean, on the I B mean, side. Yeah, on, on the, the B side, it's tricky. And it was, it wasn't on the album, right? It was just on the. It's the B side. No, I'm pretty that's sure. That's correct. It was, it was unreleased. It was unreleased. Okay, because uh, Walk This Way was on, was on there, but that was a separate single, same album. Fuck, bro. Oh I, man, it seemed like I know this shit, bro. It's tricky. It's tricky. It's tricky. I know this shit, cause I had stuff. Oh, you know what I was about to say, but I know that I know it's not it. Uh, it wasn't dumb girl or nothing like. Let that. me know. What's that? Let me know if you want a hint. Okay. I want to. I want. Give me a hint. Okay, I, I know it's not this one, cause I think this is older. Remember? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here yeah, we go. That was before. That was before that. Yeah, one. that was before that Here one. So yeah, give me a hand, bro. And I'm going to say this, uh, a lot of cats never heard of this John, or peeps never knew it was a Run DMC. But I'm going to give you a hint, Tony. Who would have thought a simple rhythm with an 808 drum machine and an echo chamber made a hit? Fuck, now he's fucking with me. Damn. Because the first thing that fucking comes to my mind, uh, I'm, and I know this is not it, but remember uh, four and three and two and one. Remember Beastie Boys? Yeah. Boom, 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 cap, boom, 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 mm -hmm. cap, boom. So it wasn't that one, and I know. Fuck. And you would never think it would be a Run DMC because they right. put a funk beat with echo. You gotta know, Tony. Come on, man. Honestly, I don't know. I don't. I don't remember right now, bro. I'm not gonna lie. You fucking got me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you recall that song Up Tempo? Oh yes. I remember the name, but I don't remember the how the song goes. It, oh, man, it, it's it's not that one. It takes me up. It's up. It that's me, it. That's it. That's it, Tony. Yes. Yeah. You, you, you're you're absolutely right. It, yeah. You're, you're you are absolutely right because I used to bump that motherfucker. Yeah, that one is a dope. And a lot of song. cats never heard of that jam before. You gotta be old school to know that song. Hey, I got one for you. Go for it. NWA put out a Let's song go. called Fat Girls on My Jock. You remember that? Fat Girls on My Jock. Yeah, I believe that was in the Dope Man uh, Panic Zone album, if I'm mm. not mistaken. But there was now a 12 who, inch. Yeah, 12 inch. Now, on the 12 inch, who, what was the B a, side? A 12 inch? Yeah, what was the B side of that? I wouldn't know. 
I'm not gonna lie to you. It's one of the hardest motherfucking hip hop songs you ever. Some gangster shit. That's the hint. Hardest <laughs> motherfucking song you ever heard. And the motherfucker kind of got a, a high pitched voice like mine. That's a hell of a hint. But it was released on the album, right? It, it was on the album. Yep. But the twelve inch came out first. The twelve inch came out first. It's not a bitch is a bitch. Oh, I'm poor rich. You, you close. <laughs> yeah. I get ah. one more shot. You close though. One more shot. Uh, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna get no I'm gonna give you the first line. Cruising down the street in my six four. Yeah. Jocking the freaks. Yep. Boys yeah. in the hood. Uh, yep, yep. Guys in the hood. They was pushing right they was pushing the other right fucking off. record. And you turned it around and you got motherfucking boys in the hood yeah. off of that single. It was crazy. Yeah. I was like, yeah. everybody was like, that should right be the A side. True. Very true. And it was released right on Macola. I remember Panic Zone too. Something's from the Panic Zone. Yes. Panic, Panic Zone. Tony's yeah. from Arabian Wilmington. Prince, right? He's in the Panic Shout Zone. Shout out to Arabian Prince for that. Yeah. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate Cruising you. Cruising down the street. Hey, man. In so my I just six wanted to mention a tempo. It's so underrated song. Uh, a lot of folks who have not heard, if the viewers type in, of Temple by Run DMC. And Absolutely. It has that little funk flavor, Miami based stuff. Yes. Thank you, my and, bro. Uh, one more thing, uh, Tony, and uh, just to confirm, uh, Granddaddy IU did pass away. Yes. So Rest RIP in peace. To, to IU. Absolutely. All right. Thank you for uh, getting my call. And this is Regal from Bell Garden, California, Hell yeah. baby. For sure. Stay blessed, homie. You, you know which part of Easy E meant a lot to me? Remember when he said, Put in my old school tape of Marvin Gaye's greatest hits. Uh-huh. Have the beat go rumping, cruising through the east side, south uh-huh. of Compton. Yeah. Fuck, bro. When, when you heard uh, uh, Let's Get It On in the background, yeah. woo. Yeah. Man, I, you, I guess you just had to live that era to feel what I feel. Yeah. So. If you feel. Yes. Okay, here we go. Call her your name or where are you calling from? Hello, Tony. What's up, Pisces? There we go. What up? Calling from the city of Atlanta. Uh, from, uh, to make a, What's good, my brother? You got to let you guys know that. Yeah, yeah just uh, wanted to let you guys know that uh, I fools uh, have double Forrest Whitaker eyes. But um, <laughs> I just want to, I just want to let uh, I see know and and Tony, um, since you're both here, just thank you for um, for being part of my childhood and just give giving me a, a soundtrack, you know, while growing up. And, you get a lot of that, you know, cross? That's it and I hope we were a good example, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we got a lot of people say, well, you know what? Well, when it, uh, My rock smokes in my pipe, but it melts in my... He goes, I wrapped that at school and I got in trouble. And I didn't know why. I didn't know why, yeah. No, no but also looked up in the, the original uh, Sitting in the Park by Billy Stewart. And that's how I discovered uh, other Billy Stewart music like Summertime, yeah. which, which I like. And... Uh, it made me research into oldies and just the, the genre and how music, uh, you know, just goes through different sorts of evolution. And, uh, and yeah, I'm just calling just to say thanks and uh, just keep up the great work. And no, no thank you. Uh, don't, don't thank and you. And appreciate also you. that uh, uh, last thing is that SPM fan and Texas school look like the suspect and the victim of Amber Alert. Uh, that, that is it. Uh, <laughs> and that. Uh, Good night. Thank you for taking the call. You got it, my bro. Thank you. Okay, That's but- a technical little motherfucker right there, huh? Yeah. Forrest Whitaker. What the hell? All right, guys. We're going to take one more phone call, okay? Yeah, one more phone give call. give me some of that shit. Y'all be on, man. Yeah, who's going to be the be last caller? Whoever calls last gets a, a blow-up life-size doll of Crawford. Okay. <laughs> you can't fuck it, though. Yeah. <laughs> call your name. <laughs> and where you calling yeah. from? Good night. Thank you for taking the call. You got it, my bro. Thank you. Please turn on your TV, bro. Turn your shit down. Hello? Echo, echo, echo. Yes, caller. Turn, please turn on your TV. Okay. Anyways. Uh, five. That was supposed to be the last call, but listen, listen. Uh, if you're going to call, please turn down your television. Okay? Here we go. Caller, your name or where are you calling from? Okay, same guy. Got a damn mosquito up in this motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. Come on, caller. We're trying to get one more phone call in here. If not, we're just going to fucking end it. Okay, let's see. 
Call her your name, but where are you calling from? Yo, hey, caller. What's good, my brother? How you doing? You got a question? Yeah, I got a question for both of you. It's a little bit off track, but um, what are the chances or the possibility of a messy style coming back um, or returning back alive and well after four years? After four years? Right. Well, first and foremost, you know, I, I do want to say this because I, I don't know if you've seen the movie. This movie is, I don't even want to use the word trending, but it was based on a true story, which is called uh, Sound of Freedom. And it's about child trafficking. So uh, by you bringing that up, and um, I, I would just say not only is it a blessing, but it's also a miracle for a child to come back, you know, and I think it's a, it's a beautiful thing. You no, for sure. I, I, man, I echo that sentiment for sure. So it's, if if that's the case, man, I, I wasn't I wasn't too familiar with it. Yeah. Right. So there's this. Um, I'm I'm right here in Arizona, right in Phoenix, and um, it's a big. Uh, it was like a big case in 2019. Uh, there was this 14 uh, year old uh, autistic uh, 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 girl that just randomly uh, uh, left her house, left the notes her mom saying that she was gonna leave. And mind you, she's 14 years old, autistic, and um, she just left. And out of nowhere today, um, she went to the uh, Montana Police Department, and I guess she was close uh, close to like the Canadian border mm -hmm. and uh, in a small little town. And um, yeah, I guess she got reunited back with her yeah, mom and thank God. like that. But after four years, thank God. yeah, and that shit was crazy, bro. Like, like, like right now, and like it's a little bit of news over here. And, yeah, that's and, that's the kind of know, stories, but, bro. I like hearing from social media and the internet, yeah. like all the time, bro. I, like I said, the tough guy shit. I can. Y'all can miss me forever with that. I can die and not miss none of that shit. I yeah. can go old. But for our stories like that, bro, it's like it's a blessing. And I don't know how uh, how true it is. Maybe I heard a rumor about it, but I think it was Aston Kutcher uh -huh. that's working on some new project to where he's going to try to find like people yeah. that's being trapped, uh, like sexually trafficked, whatever. Like he's trying to yes. dig in and help do stuff. And I heard that he was even getting <laughs> shit solved quicker than some of the local police was. On yeah. Some stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, he's so, definitely man. being a voice right now for that. Man, it's, that's so. dope to me, like, because that shit is crazy, bro. Yeah, it's true. Caller, uh, uh, was that it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, my yeah. brother. Hey, I mean, uh, yeah, y'all be good, man, for sure. Yeah, for sure, man. Thank that's you, a good brother. call, bro. I appreciate Boy, that. I'm that you listen. Okay, he, he hung up already? Hey, those claps be too fucking loud, homie. Okay, let me see. All right, wait, wait, let me just go ahead and uh, log out of this. Uh then we should be good, Crawford. But uh, you know what? That, that's a good story. I'm glad that yeah, uh, he called and, and told us that's that. That's a good way to, in, in, to finish that shit on the positive. Yes, absolutely. Okay, let's go. We can take this off, Crawford. Yeah. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you for coming through. Uh, oh, for sure. Anytime, man. Uh, Just call me up. <laughs> I always have a good ass time with you. You know what? And for the people that don't know, uh, like I said, we just did an episode called Sitting in the Park where we just sit in, sat in the park and we just shot the shit and we talked about life. Yeah. So definitely become a member and definitely uh, check that one out. Other than that, Croft, um, I'm excited about Saturday. Uh, we're going to be up there. Once again, in Scottsdale, Arizona. Make sure you guys tap in. Uh, we're going to have some post posters that, that we're going to be signing. So come through. We're going to have a little area at a booth. Cause uh, this poster thing was last minute. Uh, come through. We're gonna have some uh, some be selling some music as well, but also uh, the show that we're gonna be throwing. So uh, if any of you rappers out there um, want to see a dope show, come through. If you're gonna try to go on after us, I dare you. But uh, that's all I'm gonna <laughs> that was, say. That was a bar. Yeah, that was it. So <laughs> other than that, Croft, um, anything you wanna? Say anybody want to diss? Hey, no, nah, that's no diss. <laughs> <laughs> like that was back in the day, back in the day. But no, nah, just hey, once again, like Tony said, man, just come out, man, and just look to have a good time. And shit, we look forward to seeing our crowd. You know, like we want to see y'all, like just like y'all want to see us. We want to see y'all. We want to try to come out there and, and do your best shit, man. Come out there, dance, take your wig off, hell yeah, take your motherfucking whatever you got to do, take your high heels off. Your, do it, bro. Come right. out there. We ain't nobody judging. You in a judge free right. fucking environment out there, man. Come out there and just just do your shit, man. Hey, hey, bro. I remember we did several shows 
True story where girls will throw their shoes up on stage or their panties. Paint everything, bro. You know, and I just be collecting them. The ones that smelt, I just throw them back. Yeah, me too. That's why I was like, mm. take a sniff. <laughs> yeah. Woo-wee. Anchovies. Yeah. Anchovies, yeah. <laughs> Some smell like butterscotch, so I kept those. But anyways, um, you know what? Who I want to give a, a special shout out to, number one, to Compton Kirk. Yeah. want to give a shout out to him. Also, want to give a shout out to Big D. Daryl, much love, much respect. Thank you guys for uh, putting us on. Um, and, and again, Saturday, Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, let me go ahead and give a shout out to my boy, uh, Norby's, News of Norby's. He's going to be in the house. So if you guys want to meet Norby's. News of Norby's, he's going to be there. He's going to be up on stage filming. And the only people that are going to see the show are those that become members. That's going to be for members only. So Is he still doing that kissing booth where you get to kiss with member back in the day? He bringing that back? Yeah, he's bringing that back. So you cash Definitely. app him like a dollar. What you charge him for a kiss? Yeah, when the, and no shirt. And so it's gender, gender free. You can be man or woman. It, it don't matter. Women. Yes. Yeah, it's five dollars for a kiss and two dollars if you want to twist his nipples. Yeah. So and if uh, you're gonna tongue like tongue him down, that's ten. Like, that's ten. Uh, that's ten. He takes he takes any guy. No, all guys. No, you said all, that's not what you said. You said gender. No gender, on, right? Bro, it's not like you've never done it before. Come on. So. It's just business, man. That's the way you need to look at it. Okay. Tony, that's how rumors get started. <laughs> <laughs> how did rumors get started? At the kissing booth. And that's how I'm, that's what I'm gonna perform. Okay, so once again, <laughs> Compton Kirk, Big D, much love, much respect. Uh Norby's and once again my boy uh, Alex Cervantes, Cervantes Enterprise. Uh, let me give a shout out to my son B Scanless. He's also gonna be there. So if you guys wanna meet B Scanless, he's gonna be up on stage with us. And also uh the hip hop Jedi, our moderator, <laughs> Magic Girl, and go ahead and go to Super Chats. Okay. And don't you ever interrupt me again. Radio. We, have, we have one super chat. Good. Uh, I select dropped four ninety nine. They said, any plans on reissuing the High C Antonio Scandalous album on vinyl? That might be a tricky one, but I will say this, and I've talked to him about this already. We do plan to do a 45 a 45 uh, so that we can sell with these shows with I'm not your puppet in, in the front and in the back sitting in the park. Mm-hmm. But those are going to be limited. We're probably only going to make about 100. We're probably going to package it like with a shirt, a poster or whatever. So you can come by the booth and, but we won't have those just yet, but that is in the, in the works. So, so one super chat is better than no super chats. So I want to thank all the callers, everybody on the, uh, on the live chat, everybody that commented, liked, disliked, who decided not to be on the live chat. Much love, much respect. I won't be back on until next week, okay? Because I'm going to be out of town. But I will go live on Instagram and uh, become a member so you can see all the footage that we're going to take over there. So much love, much respect. We are out of here. Hi, C. Muchas gracias. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Uh, uh, you you want to end it with me, Hi, C. With me, compadre? <laughs> No, I, I want to chill. I th- they got to come see that live. You got to come see that live. That. You got to come, come see, see that live. live. Exactly. Now, all the girls sure. in the house. Oh, man. Okay. I do that now. My nieces, they be looking at me like. <laughs> all good. We out of here, you guys. Much love, much respect. Thank you. Yes, sir.